The following podcast contains three titties and a whole lot of bullets being fired into innocent bystanders. Viewer discretion is advised. Screw you! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Four Guys in a Movie, the was, podcast about movies, snacks, and all things nerdy. That was absolutely the worst Arnold I've ever done. Uh, you know what? Every Arnold is the absolutely worst Arnold anyone has ever done, including Mr. Schwarzenegger himself. Guys, do you remember that cereal? It's not cornflakes. I know they talk about cornflakes, but it's like similar to cornflakes. You eat it. It's got a bunch of like wheat and stuff. It's... Brand flakes? Don't talk shit about Total. That's right. It's Total. Thank you. <laughs> I was having a hard time, but now I finally got oh, did the you Total recall Recall. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> these these it. are the jokes, guys. Hey, you know what? You know what I heard recently? That song about blessing the rains in Africa. You guys remember who sung that? Sang that song? Toto. <laughs> oh, Dorothy's dog, Toto. Yeah, Dorothy's uh, dog. You remember that one? Thank you guys for your time. I will see you <laughs> later. <laughs> I should have spread those out throughout the episode. I blew my load a little early. <laughs> <laughs> you blew my cover. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so we... Into Michael Ironside's wife. <laughs> we uh, we took a detour down Verhoeven Boulevard today. Uh, I know we were supposed to do some other movie. I don't even remember. Rush Hour. Rush Hour. Uh, we'll return with that next time um but yeah we had a special special uh joe you want to explain what the hell is happening here well a long time listener patrick um Hi, patrick. just recently got married and um congrats i hopefully. presented to him at his wedding a um you know he, a episode he could request and he chose total recall and you know what the I original really, the original he i specified. really uh, i really hope it sticks patrick from one who knows. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> total recall. Well, he he's a long time listener. He knows what not to do. <laughs> it's just everything you hear. Yeah, everything you everything hear. you hear tonight but, is yeah, just, just off the off the table, absolutely off the table. So I think this is the last time you're allowed to have whatever the hell you've been having today. I'm high on life, Tony. No, it's not life. <laughs> I had a... It's cornflakes. It's cornflakes. Cornflakes. <laughs> I made it home just in time for that's cornflakes. That's the code word now, cornflakes. I had my uh, half... Half yeah, why pan, like? handmade pan pizza, dude. I don't know why anything. Why are any of the decisions in this movie made? That that's don't this whole know. movie. Why anything? Don't know why anything. I bet he forgot what he was supposed to say. He just said that, and they were like, "Good enough." Sure, sure. He was, yeah, he forgot. He was supposed to say dinner. <laughs> Instead, said cornflakes. They're, yeah, just ad lib guy. Like, that I'm looks... the governor of Mars. I'll eat whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> sure, Cornflakes sure. for dinner. I'm an adult. Yeah. <laughs> guy that looks like a carotene. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. He could easily the be weirdest the weirdest carotene's brother. I thought it's he was the weirdest insult well, that I've ever heard. It's not an insult. He looks like a carotene. There's a bunch of them. There were a bunch of them. Yeah, we'll talk about him when we get there. <laughs> we got a lot to say about Cohagen. <laughs> Go. Yeah, Cohagen. Uh, Tony, tell us a little bit about Total Recall. I assume everybody here has seen it before. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. All right. Tony, tell us a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so, of course, uh, you kind of already brief, uh, flew past this, but it is a Paul Verhoeven movie who brought us RoboCop and Starship Troopers, which makes a lot of sense, Hollow Man and Showgirls, which yeah, some could argue you could see that in here, too. Um... Uh, there are large portions of this were filmed in Mexico, where almost everybody on the, uh, the movie set got ill from, I guess, just drinking the water. Montezuma's cool. revenge. Uh, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sharon Stone. Amoebic dysentery from our previous podcast. <laughs> yes. Diarrhea forever. <laughs> forever? Uh, Sharon Stone uh, did such a great job with this that Paul Verhoeven won her back for Basic, in basic Instinct. 
And uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger made her an honorary like member of the um, stunt women's club or something. Wait, like, Paul Verhoeven was Basic Instinct? Yep. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Mm -hmm. All right, Sharon, we're going to have... Oh, I assume he doesn't sound anything like this, but... He probably... uh, if I remember right, he's very Dutch. Yeah. I, I think that's what Rob was going it's, for. Uh, so no, I, think... I was not going for Dutch. Who's uh, doing George Lucas right now? Yeah, that was the gobbler. <laughs> Let me say, yeah, I can't do Dutch. All right, Sharon, we're going to have you... All right, I want you to come back for this movie, but uh, vagina this time, okay? Cool, thanks. Well, uh, uh, well, I'll save that for if we do a basic instinct. Um, we won't. But <laughs> basically, from what I heard, she got tricked. And I was told that like he I'm wasn't gonna actually it. film that. What do you put some underwear on? That's how you. That's how you it's, resolve that problem. Well, it, it's I a, got tricked. It's a bit more complicated than that. But anyway, um, <sighs> the uh, the screenwriters for this, Ronald Shusset. Sure. Whatever. it. And Dan O'Bannon apparently came up with this a quite a while ago. Well, Dan O'Bannon's the one that wrote Alien, right? Kind of ruined the ending of this, but yes, yeah, sorry, that was <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, the point was the they were like uh, when they came up with this idea, they were like, "There's too much going on, and we can't do that with any kind of budget that we have, or like you know, limitations of special effects." So let's put that aside and work on this other idea I have about just an alien that hunts a bunch of people, and we got aliens. Hmm. Hmm. Um, and I miss you, alien. This is another Philip K. Dick joint. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. yep. One of many. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, I, I, Andrew I, Vagina. Philip K. Dick and Andrew mm -hmm. Vagina on the big screen. Apparently, Arnold Schwarzenegger was a real sweetheart to Michael uh, Ironside. He had was an, a real uh, sweetheart? Yeah, who had a sick sister. Oh. Anyway. Well, thanks for, thanks for bringing it down, Tom. Appreciate oh. that. <laughs> yeah, uh, happy to do it. Uh, what, uh, is, there, is there an obituary for a sister you want us to read? Or, wow. Or? I, I mean, I don't know why you had to take it to the real dark place, but like, <laughs> no, she was she was battling cancer. Like, it basically, oh, Michael so Ironside, I guess, was like the minute they called cut, he'd be on the phone. I don't know, I was like, why are you ignoring everybody? And he's like, you know, told him, well, I, my sister is dealing with this, you know, issue and whatever. So he was like, oh, uh, you know what? Let's go. I'll go have a talk with her and I'll tell her, like, you know, the best foods to have for recovery. I'll and like, beat the shit out of her cancer. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll punch <laughs> cancer cancer uh, uh, regiment she could do. Camel and, puncher right in the face. <laughs> 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 anyway, so you want to guess how much money Whoa. this movie costs? Uh, $35 million. There were a lot of sets in this movie. Yeah, there were a lot of matte paintings in this yeah, movie. Yeah, there were. Yeah. It was, I didn't realize it was a, it that. It was like a Goodwill exploded, and that's <laughs> it's like your set. Yeah, I didn't realize that they, they used like the same three sets for Mars over and yeah. over and over again the first time I watched it. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm going to say this cost $20 million. Give me 30 uh, 45. Uh, oh, it's 65. Oh, oh. Nice. okay. Undershot. We wait. All right. Yeah. Which I believe Miss Doubtfire was 45. Mm. Uh, for perspective. Uh, well, that's why I dumbed it, Dick, because I know I overshot for Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, so we way like, overshot yeah. last time. We yeah. Undershot this time. Yeah. <laughs> which is crazy because Miss Doubtfire pretty much just had the one fat suit. This had a fat suit and everything else. Mm. Mm. But anyway, had a volcano. Um, yeah, uh, I want to guess how much it made. Um, I'm gonna say seventy-five million. It, it made an impression on a very young Joe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll say, did you wish you had three hands, like three boobs and silly putty? <laughs> I wondered why anyone would ever go to Mars. Uh, I'm gonna say a hundred, hundred fifty, hundred fifty million. 175. I'll go hundo 30. 261. Wow. wow. Good. How much did I say it was? Uh, I'm having a hard time remembering the total. <laughs> Can you recall it? <laughs> I, cannot. I cannot recall. <laughs> Not totally, at least. You just gotta unplug my microphone. I was, I was, I'm, no I'm gonna, With, within an hour, he'll have total recall. <laughs> yes. Hour after we go home, <laughs> and I'll be 
What do you see? In bed. I'll be fully aroused <laughs> thinking of all of you. Then Sharon Stone will murder your dick. <laughs> well, not Sharon Stone. Yeah. But... <laughs> Sharon will murder you. Sharon just with a stone. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah, with a stone. Just elbow to the chest, punch right in the balls. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much our usual nighttime ritual. Yes. We call it cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's if Rob's a good boy and is home in time. Correct. It's worse if he's late. <laughs> so anyway, um, this movie has a good amount of people in it. it uh, yeah, it's got people in it, sure. It sure does. <laughs> Uh, you got Arnold Schwarzenegger returning to the podcast uh, as Quaid and yeah. Hauser. Quaid. Quaid. Quaid Hauser, that's right. You got Sharon Stone as Lori. Michael Ironsides as Richter. Lori, the literal thirst trap. <laughs> Rachel Tocotton as um, Melina. That's Mel Okay. Has she been in anything else we've done? She I looked don't familiar. Know. I don't know. But like a lot of people in this movie looked yeah. familiar to me. Uh, and then Ronnie Cox. Coming back to avenge his death in RoboCop. He's like, this time I'm getting the awesome looking one. The awesome looking death? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, okay. It's better than, than Dick Jones' death in RoboCop. Where he you became a dummy back. with like 20 foot long arms. <laughs> uh, well, I feel that that's subjective. Um, <laughs> I much prefer the dummy with 20 foot long arms, personally. <laughs> but I would always prefer a dummy with 20 foot long mm. arms. All right. Well, you're Either halfway way. there. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. So, what happens in this movie, guys? Because. Uh, oh, man, does <laughs> stuff happen in this movie? <laughs> stuff happens so you got oh. you got arnold schwarzenegger and he's like yeah. he is obsessed with mars Whoa. for some dumb well, shit reason you start with with the boringest red text credits yes that, that kind of do a disservice to what's coming because i'm like this movie is boring as hell <laughs> the, he's got the the most fun credits free can buy yep and then then he's it, walking on mars in a spacesuit with oh, some woman who is not his wife. Right, but like... Well, we don't know that yet. But you can barely mm. tell because you can't really see mm. her face that well, mm. so like... Don't worry, you get to see his face pretty soon. Well, her face, her face. Her face, yeah, you don't see that for a while. It's, it's not very... It's like, it's not very clear, so yeah. like, I was like, is that sure and still? I can't tell. Mm -hmm. I could yeah. tell. <clears throat> Mars is like... Watch out for that bear trap. That's right. And he <laughs> falls down, breaks his face mask, <laughs> and it just begins to decompress. Yeah, <laughs> like you do. He's just like... Ah, ah. So, he turns into a DC Follies puppet. Yeah. Oh, he is, he's horrendous. remember that shit. Yep. And um, those those gave me so many nightmares. But um, I decided at this point to do an experiment. And just count the amounts of <laughs> scenes in okay. this film. So How did you get anything else done? Uh, there's not as many as I thought, but there are a lot. Are Can a lot. you tell us the... I'll tell you at the end. No. 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 <laughs> no. You when go it, in time out. When it's time for me just, yeah. to recall the total. <laughs> Fuck all of you. You know, when I when saw the you... eclipse, it was a totality recall. Uh, mm. Why do you have to ruin everything? Because yeah. I'm good at it. Yeah, thank, <laughs> thank you, Brick. Um, <laughs> by the way, I again, I don't know what. Rhinox is angry, pointing at you. Brick. I don't know what you're taking or what's going on with you today for remembering jack shit. But uh, she was in a movie we did prior. She was in Falling Down. Oh, yeah. I would not have remembered her from that. Yeah. Uh, so must be something else. <laughs> okay. Well, was <laughs> she um making it up? Michael Duvall's partner or Robert Duvall's partner or uh, or was she the mom? I th no, I think she was uh, part of that group that like chases him down at one point. Oh. But I'm not certain. Okay. So anyway. Oh, no, she might have been a partner. Nah, so he wakes up buck naked in bed with a Sharon Stone, right. wearing wearing some sexy negligee. She's immediately like, "Oh, you're awake. Here's some makeouts. Time to bang. Yeah, let's bang oh, all the yeah. time." You just woke up from a terrible nightmare. Yep, I'll fuck it out. Yeah, Kissy face. She is so like 
yeah. morning breath must really turn her on. Yeah. It's, everything seems to. Like, yeah. She's <laughs> just like, we have to change the sheets well, every day. Well, because yeah. She's hired to do this. Mm. <laughs> True. So by her boyfriend she, slash husband. She is a little bit jealous though because he's dreaming about that that other woman. Right. That he's always dreaming about. And by about. a little bit jealous, we mean she has a sudden snap insane freak out. But he he Arnold just pulls her back in and and, and, and she's her. like, Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna, uh, gonna yeah. pull the rip cord on my negligee here and we're gonna go <laughs> at it. <laughs> and you you almost get a Sharon Stone titty. When she's you on get, top, one uh, comes out. One, one comes out. Okay. You do get a Sharon Stone yeah. titty. Okay. Either way, well, it's... It comes out, but it's... It's a glorious it's visible. sight. Something it's, comes yeah. out. But the thing is, like, she's so pretty. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah it didn't <laughs> exactly. have to yeah. be visible. You're just like, yeah, You're all still right. getting a half chunk. Yep. Yeah. So they have some hot morning sex. He makes some breakfast. And then you just get a... Just get like a five second preview of what this movie's about. Because mm. on on the news on TV, yeah, <laughs> Martian police is just gunning people yeah, down, just, just shooting people left, flagrantly right. executing prisoners. And, and Arnold's watching this like, man, I wish I was vacationing. There. Oh, we yeah. gotta go there. <laughs> oh, go to worse. Mars. And I do not understand this, but like he's watching all this and then just goes. Why don't we do it? Why don't we move to Mars? Like, yeah. move to Mars. Yeah. <laughs> like, Civil that's War, why. that's where it's at. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. She's like, I, I have to ask as gently as I can, are you a functional retard? <laughs> <laughs> that was as gently as you could. That was as gently as you could. <laughs> like, after you see that, like, what, yeah. other, what other questions but Rob, do you ask? Mars is where they mine the Turbo Mans. But Mars needs moms. <laughs> So yeah, that will solve all the problems. Apparently, this war is going on over turbinium, yep. which for the rest sure. of the movie, I'm just like Turbo Man. Sure, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turbo Man dolls. That's where they okay. make the that, yeah. They mine them there. It's still so better than untanium. Yeah, it's it is. Yeah. I'm sorry. I mean, six, it's it's six nonsense. One half dozen of no, the other. one is utter nonsense. The other is explicitly Gobble says duck? you'll never get this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll all still right. take unobtainium over. The fucking, we killed that entire big whale creature to get that one little bit of brain juice, even oh, though we can grow life enough, forms in labs. Enough spoilers, yep. Joe. I've yeah. not seen The Way of Water. He's talking about the movie The Whale. I have seen that. <laughs> I know where, that that's not. Where they right. kill Brendan Fraser and they, they <laughs> harvest his. <laughs> yeah. They harvest his blubber. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> um, so just now. have to steal his charisma. Yeah, Arnold wants to, to move to Mars. We find out his name's Doug and his wife's name's Lori. And Lori's answer for everything is like, oh, he's thinking again? Here comes the sex. Bang yeah. It out. Yeah, I mean, like, literally, she's a thirst trap. <laughs> yeah. She is. I mean, that's, you know, men be thinking, she's... how do we stop that? <laughs> like, if you watch very closely in Basic Instinct, mm. you can see a little Admiral Akbar come out of her. Yeah. <laughs> So she's like, let's take a space cruise to Saturn. I'm the reason it smells like fish. Oh, yeah. oh. Is that uh, why Wayne Knight is sweating so hard? Yeah. <laughs> Doug's like, I want to do something more to my life. I want to go to the Turbo Man mines and fight in the Civil War. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sinbad's down there. Yeah. Uh-oh. He'll kill you, Doug. And he's he instead, he goes for war. To, to his job, and he has to walk through the skeleton scanner. And this was an amazing special effect for the time. Sure. Yeah, that's still bad. I mean, it's still fine. Yep. Whatever. But, you know, the scanner checks to make sure that you have bones. Right. He passes. <laughs> but now it's like it's too close to reality where yeah. you're just like, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a real thing now. Yeah, have fun with that, <laughs> asshole. Don't forget to take your shoes off first. <laughs> so... um and now he goes uh, on the, in, onto the metro, and on the way he sees a commercial for Recall Incorporated. Um, they're like, "Why go on a vacation when you could just remember a vacation?" Joe, did you see the way it was spelled? Oh yeah, oh I, I noticed that K in <laughs> spelled there. Spelled real well in there. Yeah, and it's, it's good. Uh, fuck them. Which um, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I guess I can't really argue this, but it's like that's that's fucking expensive for a trip you're not actually going on. Well, I, but. I mean, this is the future, right? Mm. Okay. So that's two weeks for, what, 1800 is what they said? Uh, I think, uh, yeah. Well, it started at 800, and then he added 
three hundred twenty-five for the secret agent program. Eight hundred? Or yeah. I thought he said eight hundred. Yeah. Okay. Eight, so eight hundred dollars. Yeah. That's yeah. Cheap for a two-week vacation. Yeah. Where you get to murder a bunch of people. Where you get, well. Like yeah, I'm, we're not even not okay. Not even counting that. That's, like, yeah, that's without Walt, the secret agent. That's yeah. like two days at Walt Disney World. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm I'm going Fair, to Norway I guess. for eight days. Like that's 4, like the airfare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All I'm saying is yeah, but that's Mars. you give me like, yeah. fifty bucks, uh, I'll take you to a back alley, hit you over the head, and tell you you went to Vegas. We know it's what fine. you'll do in a back alley for fifty dollars. Okay. <laughs> oh no, you don't. We've seen the dragon. But imagine things. what you could do to somebody at Recall Incorporated. <laughs> right, yeah. What memories you could give them? Dude, you could blow in the that shit back out. alley. And you like you wouldn't. Even... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you could be that little it. person. You can have yeah. the experience without having to shit semen for the next three days. <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> it's off the rails. Uh, we were never on the rails, Joe. We really, <laughs> is it out of context for the movie, Joe? No. All right. So, re- <laughs> recall yeah. movies like, off the rails. Yeah, I makes no sense. I like the concept. So he, so now he's like, I have to go to my job where I remove my shirt and just jackhammer away with like six other dudes on one big rock. Yeah. And he's showing off the guns, and yep. it's I'm here for like. Woo, oh yeah, woo. you're like, yep. Nobody woo. else is that's Arnold. near as in good shape. As <laughs> no, he's there. got like the. Sh- you know? <laughs> he's got like me standing yep. next to him, but <laughs> just like on the jackhammer, just with his fat rolls, like just <laughs> mm. little gyrating. <laughs> Instead of jackhammering, it's just jiggling, Rob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Commence to Actually, none of they're, the all, they're all jackhammering, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> it's also, just like... Blah, blah, blah. Also, uh, ch- keep your eye on our website for that new product, the Jiggling Rob. Yeah. 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 But um, <laughs> before before we get shut down, yeah. <laughs> sponsored by Dragon Dildos or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I, I love it. I don't, um, I don't want Also, to. though, uh, <laughs> this is a great point of, you know, pay attention, people. Because uh, in the original script, he was supposed to be like an accountant or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Arnold Schwarzenegger was like, I want to audition. They were like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, well, why don't you just make him a construction worker? And they're like. Okay, that could okay, work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, smart. Right? Not yeah, trying yeah. to be like, oh, I'm just John Matrix here. I'm just an average American man. <laughs> like, we saw him carry one tree and one Alyssa Milano. That's right. <laughs> uh, I think at the same time. Yeah. But anyway, um, so I love how sound works in Hollywood. So he's jackhammering. His buddy. Uh, is jackhammering another guy three feet away is jackhammering there's a fucking excavator with a bigger yeah. jackhammer well, going talk, and he's just that. he's just like hey lou or whatever the guy's name is the guy stops jackhammering dead silence yep <laughs> <laughs> you see the guy in the background now, with the right. jack let me ask you this joe did you have or you and brick mm-hmm. you guys watched separately from us mm-hmm. did you have any issues with the sound design other than this in the movie uh, not so that when I know we, of. When we were watching it, and we watched the... I mean, a lot of weird noises were made, but I think that was the So the the three, idea. The, uh, me and jo- jo- John and Tony watched the mind-bending edition. Yep, that's mm-hmm. what I watched. Okay. And we noticed a pattern of every time people would stop talking, uh-huh. the background music would just <laughs> stop huh. and only start up again when dialogue was happening. Mm. Almost as if... The music itself was ambient and like was huh. was being blocked by like a filter or something. Yeah, like onset <laughs> audio. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which but, obviously was not the case, but no. And but that's the thing. You say the music stopped. I'm not sure it stopped. I think it had like so many musical stings when people would would say something that it so, made it so, seem like it that. So oh yeah, off-putting. it was definitely weird. It was definitely off putting. Yeah. yeah, no. I don't know if that was for, intentional. For, for me, it was like there, there was. There was no sound. I thought the sound was actually cutting out. Right, and like, it might have. Like and I thought an, it was a problem. With like there was Rob's a noise yeah, gate or something yeah. happening. Yeah. Anyway, um, before we get too far, I do have a couple of things to try. Do you want to? Do you want to just knock that oh. out right now? Oh yeah, we. Whoop. Before we get we into the uh, the total recall portion of the movie, I totally forgot. Yeah. So just two things, quick, quick. I have salsa con queso oh Cheetos. No, thank you. They're not spicy. They're just salsa con queso. 
tuchuelas. Salsa, salsa and cheese. I just what? ate a whole box well, of Papa in, John's okay. John, Oreo if you just, cookie bites. Okay, so John wants to be a bitch. So <laughs> All right. And I have... Like, mint, I've already mint, got the snack sweats. Mint chip Oreos. <sighs> oh, that's just, a good phrase. I haven't heard of that before, the snack sweats. And that's what I got. For, for everyone listening at home, just uh, so you know, John got here, ordered his food, Rob <laughs> said nothing. We arrived at the table, Rob said, hey, I have all this other stuff we've tried before but never finished. Please eat as much as possible. So we've been going to town on this shit yeah. for the past couple minutes. Yeah. And now he sprung this on us. Yeah. So I we're will, all going to shit ourselves later. I'll try them, but I, yeah. But well, we don't have to eat the whole bag. I, we're all hey, snacked to hell. Hey, I'm cool. You know, Total Recall, the whole, you know, cast and crew got the shits. I'm ready to get the shits with them. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, I already had my champagne diarrhea be a, today. It's going to be a red planet in <laughs> Rob's <laughs> bathroom. That would be another benefit of the recall is you could go to Mexico, but not get the Montezuma shits. Mm-hmm. That's true. That is true. But you would remember that you did. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, no, they can I'm edit not, that part yeah, out edit for out. you. Edit like, it out. Could, you only man. get the good parts of the trip. So, so we'll d- I'll just pass everything around real quick. So it's mint chip Oreos. I don't know how this is going to be different than just regular mint Oreos. I don't know either. Um, and, of course, salsa con queso uh, All right, what Cheetos. Are we, what are we doing first here? Uh, we should probably do the salsa con queso because I feel like the mint is gonna be like yeah. mm, sticking around. So, all right. As soon as Tony's got his little pile there, well, big pile. Tony likes Cheetos. He's got a man-sized pile. Mm. Uh, Tony, I'm going for diarrhea. The Tony just. <laughs> all right. Tony did not come to fuck around. Bottoms up, boys. Mm. All right. I mean, interesting color. Yeah, they're fine, but. Not as good as regular Cheetos. I was gonna say it's like, to me, it's essentially a Cheeto. Like yeah. I don't really um, have Cheetos that often, so maybe I just don't remember. Yeah, them. I no, think Cheetos is very distinct cheese. Like, mm. you know what this tastes Cheetos. like to me? Hmm. Tastes like if you took Cheetos and whatever the dust they put on like uh, pizza Pringles mm-hmm. and oh. just sprinkled it on. Yeah, I had can like see a that. like a warlock just shoot it out of his hand all yeah. over him. Yeah, Give they're, me not, the they're not bad at all. No, no. But I think I would just wrap Pringles are amazing. Cheetos. Now, yeah, it's good. Let's get these Oreos underway. I can see one side is a regular Oreo cookie side, mm-hmm. and the other side looks like a waffle cone. Mm-hmm. And uh, it doesn't have the dark side. It, no, I did not get the Star Wars ones. At per your request, <laughs> and rightly so. <clears throat> All right. So they smell minty. Oreo going in now. For well, those yeah. of you familiar with the good. podcast, uh, on again, off again, member Brian hates chocolate and mint together, um, but I love it. So it's a good meal finisher. Just trying to make sure yeah. he doesn't come back. What do you? No, well, he's not here. Nobody oh, might listen. No, oh, no, he's not going to listen. Well, he's not. Yeah, if, if he, he ever listened, though, he's not going to hear like, oh, they had a mint Oreo. He's not just going to fucking turn the thing off. No, but he's going to so go, he's... Rob, shut the fuck up about me. But I'm not even calling him. He's allowed to not like things. Uh-huh. I'm just saying I'm glad he's not here for this, that he would not like this. It reminds me. But I'm sad he's not here at the same time. It reminds me of after dinner mints. Yeah. It reminds me of thin mints. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. These, which I'm, I'm totally down for these. I like this a lot. I, um, yeah, I wouldn't say no to him. I'd give, it, I'd give both of these like a B. Yeah. yeah, I think they're yeah, yeah. they're I'm, solid. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. I, I might give the Oreos. Mm. Oreos might be a B plus. Oreos yeah. would be a B plus. These might the uh, Cheetos might be a B minus. Mm-hmm. I could even just a standard B for them. But like, yeah, the Oreos. The only problem is you're right. It's very much a thin mint, but it doesn't have like that uh, chocolate coating, mm-hmm. That's which true. Is, makes thin mints a little better in my but opinion. These more, but but mm. these are more dunkable in milk. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I, yeah. it's. You know, or chocolate milk. what if somebody coated that Oreo cookie in chocolate? Oh, that'd it'll be good probably stuff. happen. Mm-hmm. It'll probably happen. Yeah. Um, All right, yeah. John, you have anything to add? No. Nope. <laughs> He's got the snack sweats. All right. All right, John's not eating anymore, but he will chug a two-liter bottle. Of John, Mountain Dew. John doesn't like food anymore. No. So. All right, back to the movie. Thanks for listening mm-hmm. to this fat chat, Chess Kitchen. We love you all. 
So um, he's asking his buddy here in the middle of jackhammer time. Yeah. Um, it's like, <laughs> what are you jacking it? Yeah, just jacking it. Just jacking it. Try, trying to free Rob from the hole he fell into. <laughs> oh. Well, to be fair, the hole wasn't there. <laughs> I made it. Well, yeah, just, Rob just fell backwards. Fell. Yeah. Um, either way, uh, he's just like, what do you think of that recall place? And his friend's like, oh, they'll melt your brain. Yeah. They, like, lobotomize the guy. He's fucked. Yeah. Don't go there. Next yeah. scene, he's literally just walking right yeah. there. <laughs> With a it's smile like, on his face. Yeah. I was like, well, you see what a loser my coworker is. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to do the opposite. Yeah. I think that pretty much was it. It was like, mm -hmm. he says it's bad, but he didn't get Sharon Stone. I did. So fuck that guy. Yeah. Do you think they really want to go to Mars? Do you think they originally tried to get Danny DeVito in that other role? No. And they're like, oh, let's have a let's have a reunion between these two. No. Mm. No. Would that have even been a reunion at that yeah, point? Yeah, twins. Or, uh, I don't know if that had, had happened yet, actually. That's what I'm trying to... I don't know. Wasn't twins in the 80s? I don't know. See, that's the thing. I, I can't say. The 90s. And this yeah. was 1990, so it might not have... What's the movie where he's pregnant? Junior. Ju yeah. Junior? Where he also plays a scientist? Yes. So, again, make him a construction worker, good. Make him a scientist, bad. Great. <laughs> All right, so now, um, everybody I, chill. Yeah, <laughs> I like the scene. Make him a where scientist, very bad. He goes to recall. The guy starts talking. He's like, "You don't want to go to Mars. You want to go to Saturn. Yeah, Look Mars at Saturn, sucks, man. What do you want to do at Mars?" And he's he's like, "No, I want Mars." And the guy's like. All right, well, you know, we can do Mars. I'll do I this. I love Milky Way. And Arnold just out of nowhere, he's like, don't bullshit me. You <laughs> killed a guy last year. And the guy's like, look at these stats. And he's got a graph that has, like, fatalities at total recall. And it's just a line at one. And then there's, like, taking a shuttle to Mars. And it's like, whoop. <laughs> I mean, yes, that <laughs> makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sitting in a chair less fatal than sitting in a rocket yeah. chair. Yeah, and you, sure. you, know, you still don't have to do either. Mm -hmm. You know the advantage I would give this, you know, the, just the remembering the vacation is like, do you imagine just fucking sitting in a spaceship for three months to go to Mars? Well, I mean, you wouldn't be sitting. That's right. Well, whatever you're doing on the spaceship, you're just in a spaceship. Floating for, around. Uh, floating around, yeah. I could do that for three months. Well, you could sit okay. if you were strapped in. Or taking, Twins is 88. Taking a nap. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're in oh. stasis, but... Either way, three uh, months they, of just being just, able to sleep. This does not oh. look like a future where stasis is a thing. Mm. Yeah. And do you also, you think your job's going to give you like, you know, six months off just for travel time? And you're, you're saying how vacation? long? If you're in Europe, yeah. How long to get yeah. there? Well, from what we theorize, I think Mars is like three months, right, Burke? Something like that. Because well, right. in this, no, it seems to be months. like a couple hours. Nine, yeah. So it's nine months. Oh, uh, nine months. Yes. Yeah, presumably, it's faster in the future, but like. It's still a long fucking way to go. But this is one of those futures where it's like, it's, it's just got a couple more yeah, lights she, on it. She yeah. and Ironsides mm -hmm. got there, like Sharon Stone yeah. and Ironsides got there from Earth, like yeah. real, real Arnold fast. too. Scripts like don't bullshit me. So anyway, um, what I like though is this salesman. He's like, all right, check this out. What's wrong with all your vacations? Your dumbass went on them. That's right. <laughs> Why don't Who you wants to go on a vacation to be Arnold Schwarzenegger? Come yeah. on, douchebag. Why Why take you know a vacation when you could take a vacation from you? Right. Who wants to be you Mr. Know? Universe? Yeah. <laughs> you could be famous athlete. You could be you know important <laughs> VIP. You could be millionaire playboy. Yeah. You yeah. could be governor of California. You could be right. secret agent. He's like, oh, give me the secret agent. I want it. Oh, yeah. That's right. I am tired of being big and strong, Mr. Universe, and fucking Sharon Stone <laughs> yeah. every night. Give Please, me... let me work in a safe way. <laughs> Initiate the DeVito <laughs> protocol. <laughs> <laughs> we are twins, after all. I just nope. got the shot of him going like, Gah! and then it like morphs into DeVito and he's like, Ooh. <laughs> no, see, I want the shot where he says, give me the DeVito protocol and he wakes up and then he's like, wait, that's Danny DeVito next to me. Oh my God, I'm Rhea Perlman. It's <laughs> not what I asked for. Oh, he's trying to make a, a, a me. Oh my God. No. All right. So speaking of midgets, taking out a dragon. <laughs> so, um, he wants to be a secret agent 
And then the salesman's like, oh man, I don't want to spoil it for you, but you get to kill all kinds of people. You get to meet exotic women. You get to save the planet. Just fucking, just do it. And Arnold's like, yeah, let's do it right now. I'm yes. going to chair. Why consult what? my wife? Yeah. So, how, all right, did he did he say how long the two weeks actually took place, like, in reality? Was it, uh, that ever No, I, like, I, that I don't know. It doesn't seem to be particularly long. Because in theory, it would be, like, almost instantaneous, yeah, it's right? Supposed yeah, supposed to be, like, an outpatient. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you so, leave that We're talking, day. like, yeah, a lunch break. So, yeah, I guess in mm -hmm. that case, it's like as long as he can explain to her where $800 went. Mm. More. Because he bought the, yeah, yeah. He got the upgrade yeah. package. Up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm addicted to mobile games. She's like, no, honey, that's where the tracker went. <laughs> anyway, um... Which, so, by the way, though, like, uh, you're worried about lobotomies. Maybe don't fuck with your sense of self. Yeah. That might, that might be a part of it. Throw that out there. Well, the whole time he had this smile on his face. He really wasn't taking any of this seriously. He's just yeah. like, I want to go to Mars. Yeah, that was the only thing going through. Well, yeah, just rewrite, rewrite my mind. I don't yeah. care. And here's the thing, like it's so. I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but like this would have been more believable if it was not Arnold Schwarzenegger and it was just like a normal, like just a yeah. normal looking dude banging somebody that doesn't look like Sharon Stone. Hey, I got just the remake for you. Are you, oh, you going to no. play it? Talk about when it's already out there. Oh, Overdrawn at the Memory Bank? Sure. Starring Raul Julia? Yeah. <laughs> you got it. No, what were you going to say? Total Call remake. <laughs> but then it's like Colin Farrell, right? Yeah. He's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's not sure. Sharon Stone. Yeah, that's that's all you requested. Colin, like, Colin Farrell, if he was not in movies, you wouldn't know he was like a movie guy. No offense to Colin Farrell, but I mean, I don't really care if I offend him, but um, <laughs> the so first who's, time you've who's ever been in some... that movie. Uh, probably Kate Beckinsale, I think. Oh, no, that's way. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, no. That's still way too good. <laughs> that's way too good. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's way too good. Just, All right. Nah. <laughs> it may be real Pearlman. <laughs> do, do a remake with Danny DeVito and real Pearlman. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll believe he wants to go live another reality. Just the scene of, of Rhea Perlman kicking him in the dick like 20 times. Well, just a scene of, of her undoing her uh, little, oh. little top at the beginning. It took me a while to realize you weren't saying Ron Perlman. Just really mm. You know what? You know what? It's 2024. Let's mix Let's it, it up. It. Let's, Let's Danny DeVito and Ron Perlman. Oh. <laughs> Gary Busey's an animal judge. We could, we could have. To be fair, Gary Busey's always been an animal yeah. judge. First of all, I, I just... He's just finally televising it. Yeah. Congrats to me for just taking a wild stab that since it was a Lynn Wiseman movie, it would be Kate Beckinsale because it was. Uh, but yeah, good news, hard. he's going to Mars to meet Jessica Biel, which is much more realistic. <laughs> yeah, way more yeah. realistic. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay. Well, while we're just objectively ranking women's appearances, hey. um, he gets to select a level four woman. Wait a minute. I am I am objectifying Arnold Schwarzenegger, too. Yeah. And, and Ron Perlman. Yep. And Ron Perlman. And, and, and Perlman, Danny DeVito. Who looks like a drunk, half-retarded ape. Whoa, wow. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Whoa. Not, not half. You're right. Not whoa. Half. Oh. Fuck you, all right? <laughs> Don't talk about my husband like that. Oh. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> shit. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the remake is going to be with Tony and Ron Perlman. <laughs> all right. Does Ron Perlman count as a level four woman? Because what the fuck is he in this counts, menu for him to select as, from? Counts as a level four problem. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They, yeah, they give him the sedative. Then they're like, pick the woman, you know, answer yeah. honestly. I, and it's like they're showing him like styrofoam heads with wigs on them. Okay, like, oh. I think Michael Jackson was one of them. Full disclosure. <laughs> yeah. Full disclosure. Yeah. I was exploding out of my asshole at this point. So I missed some of this. <laughs> In the living room, or did you at least Thankfully, make it? No, to the I made it to the bed. Uh, he made it out of the living room. Right. Yeah, my Domino's pizza. Yeah. There was a bit of a snail trail, but yeah, yeah, my Domino's pizza decided it wanted two weeks on Mars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I had to. You uh, had to go in the I chair. Had to go recall it. Yeah, off. that was a that was a total evacuation. Yeah, it, was a it was a total recall. Yeah, recall of my dinner. Mm -hmm. So. Um, 
So yeah, I miss the right. uh, the yeah. women. Basically, choosers. yeah, he sits down like Joe said. They're like, "What do you prefer, blondes, brunettes, whatever?" And they are just like styrofoam mannequin heads of women with, with, with bad with wigs, wigs on, on them. Yeah, yeah. anything that's not now, talking in he this clear- is a styrofoam head. He also he clearly says brunette, and I, maybe it's the lighting. I don't know, but I'm I don't think she's a brunette. I, Who, uh, the, 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 the Melina. Who right? do you think I, she is? I thought she had black hair. That is a, anything. Yeah, I mean, that's a... Well, now you're getting into that tricky thing of raven hair versus brunette and whatever. And See, I, okay, I, I guess I just don't know my hair. I, ter- yeah, I, I think thought, it's different shades. I think brunette yes. is basically anything that's not redhead or blonde. It's basically, basically yeah. Okay, okay. Blonde. well, then never mind. But I, while I'm not going to disagree with that, mm-hmm. the problem is they have at least six different things to choose from. So there's obviously more oh, options. I didn't know, what, I didn't know mm-hmm. how many levels of women there are. Uh, yeah, well... But yeah, he pick, regardless, he picks Burnett. Mm. Then they basically are just, you know. They give you the Skyrim body type yeah, choice yeah. of slim, athletic, or and curvy. Keep in mind, ladies, we're not objectifying you, we're subjectifying you. Mm. This is what we prefer. What, I mm. didn't. Yeah. No, this is, this is what they've done in this movie. Yeah. I'm also, not. Also, they injected him with drugs right before he had to make these choices. Well, that's what I do before <laughs> yeah. I have to make any choices <laughs> yeah. myself. That's, that's true. Yeah, that's Answer honestly, and you'll enjoy yourself. <laughs> He's like, yeah, give me the bone, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I also, that last one, I'm not sure if he, I, I guess it was a double option, right? You got to pick both things. Mm. The demur, oh yeah, but personality yes. type, Genki yeah, or yeah, whatever, yeah. <laughs> what sleazy. sleazy, sleazy, but demure, but demure. So what he, did they do? He gets, they did, he like gets a, woman number forty-one. A scientist yeah. was like holding his dick the whole time to see what the response was. <laughs> yeah, well, she had, she had a device pointed at his dick. She had to oh, check his pulse. Yeah. Um. So now it cuts back to salesman Bob, and he's got this other woman in there, and he's he's starting to sales pitch with her. Um. And then on the phone, it's the the doctor. And she's like, Bob, you better get down there. He runs into the, the room, which is like two doors down. And it's just like, <laughs> Arnold is full freaking out. That's I would have just picked Salesman Bob's receptionist, yeah. personally. Yeah. <laughs> what, with the mm. the bionic nails yeah. that could change colors? She did have a nice smile. Um, nice, were the bionic nice nails, ending. or was it just the, the thing she was using that changed the color on them? I don't well, know. That was the joke that the receptionist is always just sitting there yeah. painting yep. her nails right. instead of doing her It was future her nonsense. Job. And yeah, yeah, it was just like... Let me tap my nail with my stylus, and it automatically changes color. It's coming. That's cool, though. It's coming. Mark my words. It's, it's coming. coming. As an administrative assistant, uh oh, I really <laughs> don't do a lot of work. <laughs> but you do. Oh, do he your does nails sit a there lot. and paint his do, nails. Yeah, I day. paint my nails a lot. I used to do a shit ton of work when mm. I was an admin assistant. So anyway, um, so and that's this, why your nails look like shit. Yeah. And mine look immaculate. Maybe that's right. Uh, mm. They're clean and long. Long? Yeah. Is that... Why, why are we talking about bricks now? Because, yeah, no, he, because they, he started. <laughs> those are too no, long. You have to know when to disengage like with Alec Brick. Baldwin in the, the shadow over here. No, you look like <laughs> Michael... What the fuck's his name? Ironside. I was a teenage Jackson? werewolf. Michael J. Fox? J. Fox? Michael Landon. <laughs> Michael Landon. <laughs> Not even the or, Michael J. Fox. Oh, wait, yeah. Teenage yeah. Werewolf. Teenage werewolf. You like, have long nails, you can peel things. Uh, <laughs> this is why I'm saying with don't engage. You just get, roll it's, off. It's why I was placed here, to figure uh, him out. So anyway, How Arnold. are you not more miserable than me? I don't oh, understand. Oh, I guarantee I am. I just hide it better. Yeah. You have no fucking idea. All right, we're not. I am not going to sit here for a miserable off between the two troll brothers. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I will go home. <laughs> That's fine. I don't need to argue. My trump card is right over in the other room. <laughs> it's a card that literally has Trump on it. Yeah, oh, it God. might as well. All right. So it anyway, well. <laughs> attempting to advance the scene. Um, <laughs> so Arnold's screaming about they blew his cover. His name's not Quaid. Um, the doctor just shoots the shit out of him with uh, the, she does the sedative. Not stop. Yeah. And then there's this kid named Ernie. He fucking kicks this kid across the room. <laughs> um, and she's like, she's telling Bob, like, someone has totally erased his memory. Um, so, like, I didn't even put the secret agent protocol in him yet. Um, you know, and Ernie's like, well, it was probably the agency. 
And I guess Ernie can't talk like he's out of his element, Donnie, because she slaps the shit out of him for saying that. <laughs> and then I, it was the the uh, the owner guy, right? That the, slapped him? No, the doctor. The, oh, was the, the redhead? Doctor? Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think it's just like you can't talk bad about the company mm-hmm. like that. Like that. Now, like, mm, nobody shut your mouth. Manager of the year here is like, I'll refund his money. Just put him in a cab. Yeah. We'll we'll send him on his way. Delete all his records. Yeah. Nobody ever heard of this guy. Well, that's the thing. Like, that is like a, you you know, you're, say you're doing like plastic surgery and you get somebody in there and suddenly they start spouting about how like they were involved in the JFK assassination. Mm -hmm. You you do just kind of like, just just stick them out in the alley. We, you know, (laughs) I I, I wasn't here. I don't know. This never happened. I would typically call the cops. (laughs) I did that. (laughs) Although I guess yeah, they don't want this on the news. Yeah. So anyway, well, he... plus I get the strong impression this isn't a like a uh, the cops will come and be like, we've got this under control. You can go home now. This is a they wipe everyone out. Yeah. There are no witnesses. So he wakes up in a Johnny cab, <laughs> and a Johnny cab is not unlike a small version of my car being driven by a robot. Yeah. Um, it's significantly more annoying. Mm-hmm. Um. It's more like a small version of a Tesla truck Mm -hmm. being driven by a robot. The robot is using like a pilot stick like it's a fighter plane. I guess. Each their own. So uh, he gets dropped off and he immediately runs into his friend Gary. And uh, his Gary's like, hey, I want you to meet some of my friends. And he's like, what did I do? And they like drag him off into an alleyway. And Gary's like, you shouldn't have gone to recall. I told you not to. I told you yeah. they'd melt your brain. Yeah, I warned you about that shit. Yeah. And Arnold just hauls off and kills like four dudes. And this is the first time in the movie where you really like the violence in this movie's on another level. Yeah. <laughs> like it's matched only by Robocop. <laughs> yeah, it's just that Pearl that Paul Vernhoven brand ultra violence that you just don't get anymore. Yeah. And the big one for me, it, as unrealistic and nonsensical as it might be, but like the cracking on these guys' necks yeah. got me each and every time. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. Well, I mean, having been to a chiropractor mm-hmm. and having heard people's necks, including my own, getting mm. adjusted, I totally believe that mm. having someone's neck actually broken would make pops and cracks that loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had to cover and snap the shit out. Also, did you notice uh, yeah. at one, I think it was like early in the fight when he mm. slams those two guys against the yep. cement wall, the wall shakes. <laughs> yeah, I did notice that. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. He's, he's a strong, strong dude. Strong. Yeah. Hey, yeah, sure. All right. So he's like, he runs home. His wife's playing like hollow tennis. She's got the Wii Sports out. And um, she's got the perfect score. And... Uh, he runs in, turns the lights off, and he's like, I want the recall. And, uh, I'm, you know, I, this guy's tried to kill me. And she's like, you're just imagining that. You're delusional. And he's like, how do you explain all this blood? <laughs> she's like, and, first of uh, all. It's like somebody just painted his palms, yeah. like, with a paint roller. She's like, first of all, I'm mad at you for going to recall. But second of all, I can't do anything about that right now because you're now a murder suspect. Yeah. Also, if you're trying to hide from people that were going to kill you, maybe running up the yeah. stairs to our apartment your with your bloody ass person. handprints all over the place. Uh-huh. Not so a good idea. He then he's like, don't call anybody. And then goes in the bathroom and she's like, call Michael Ironsides. Can do. <laughs> yep. And you just see that face on the little the, the voice call. And you're like, oh, no, <laughs> he is fucked. And you could tell Michael Ironsides is screaming the entire way over. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, he comes out of the bathroom. His wife just opens fire. Mm-hmm. Just shooting everywhere. In the dark. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, tactically, she, she's got the lights out. Mm-hmm. Then she blinds him with the flashlight. Yep. yep. I did, and tries I did to shoot. Understand. She was a terrible shot, though, because she, mm-hmm. like, grouped them all perfectly on the side of the door there. Not one of them hit him. Well, did I miss all of this? Yes. Damn. Interesting thing, too, is um, every, every gun in this movie has a suppressor 
built into it. Mm. None of them work. <laughs> <laughs> this no. gun is just blasting I, light everywhere. I don't think that was a, supposed to be a built-in suppressor. That was just mm. an ugly round gun. Like a, mm -hmm. it, they're like a. I forget what the actual. Uh, real world equivalent to it is, but it, they look like grease guns, so they call mm -hmm. them grease guns. Hmm. Um, Either way, oh, yeah. Whatever. She's firing off the gun in pitch darkness. Like, why she didn't just leave the lights on and gun him down? I don't know. So now he's fighting his wife. Well, he turned the lights off. Yeah. That's um, true. Yeah. He did? Oh, yeah, yeah when yeah. he came when in. He came in. She should have just turned him back on. Yeah. Either way, um, his wife murders his dick. Like, just fucking elbow in the chest, punch in the balls, football kick to the oh, groin. This is where I came in, yes. Yeah, yeah just, just wholesale slaughters it. Yeah, well, when you're a, like, yep. what, like a hundred pound Sharon Stone fighting a, mm -hmm. you know, fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger, you gotta do what you gotta do. Arnold's one of those guys that just gets stronger because he fucking he throws her all over the place, throws like a stool at her, she pulls a knife on him. Uh. Um,. You know, he finally restrains her, and, and she's like, okay, you know, I'm not your real wife. Your marriage is an implanted memory. You've only been here for six weeks. He's like, bullshit. We've been married for eight years. It's like, I'm not your wife. Um, I am going to still try to seduce you. This is the one thing but, I, I got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the one thing that annoyed me is just how long it took for him to get it through his thick ass skull because yeah. she's like we're, you know i'm not really your wife like what are you talking about we've been married eight years like no it's all implanted in your brain well what about my job that's been implanted in your brain <laughs> what about this like, it's implanted in your yeah. brain well, no, his, get the job was with, the only thing well, that no, was no yeah the job yeah. well yeah the job he did have but mm. like she just had to keep repeating like this it's all implanted it's I all part of the step thing on your foot and say hello <laughs> exactly <laughs> so he's like did you call Michael Ironsides? You called Michael Ironsides. <laughs> he fucking punches her like full force. Yeah, like she I, was a camel. Like, yeah, 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 just Camel's with the out. same force he hit the camel. Just yeah. knocked her the fuck out. Um, and he, he runs away as the agents come in. This one guy, we one of the... the uh, hit it and quit it. Mm, one of the agents like comes in and is like, I'm going to check to see if Sharon Stone's okay. Michael Ironsides kicks this dude across the room. Like, don't you touch her. That's right. That's Only my, it's my that's, job and yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's yeah, yeah. That's my wife. That that, I've employed to fuck Arnold Schwarzenegger this is, for the last six weeks. His asshole boss was just like, I'm taking your wife and just making Arnold fuck her mm -hmm. over and over again. What do I look like? Some kind of cuck? <laughs> they don't get into that, do they? They do. They, they explain the boss like forced her specifically or like what well, was? Well, Cohagen selected her. Yeah, but, like, is there anything more to that? Like, did he know she he was... was just the most bangable. Mm. I, I feel like Cohagen doesn't really like Richter very much. Yeah. I, I did get that, Plus, yeah. she's hot, and she has the skill and set that is yeah. required. Yeah, and the you skill know, set being she's hot. Probably when Cohagen and Hauser were talking about, wouldn't it be cool if we did this? It's like, why don't you let me oh, fuck yeah. Richter's wife like, for a that's while? Yeah, that's what I was works. thinking, yeah. but I was like, did they ever actually mention that? I don't think they did, but... Yeah. That was yeah. part of the deal. It probably was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they probably laughed about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh yeah. That that course. was one of the conditions um, yeah. Hauser probably had. Was yeah. like, yep, I'm gonna, yeah. I want to fuck his. And wife. the boss probably felt bad. He's like, yeah, she's she does have to fuck Michael Ironside. <laughs> we'll give her a little, <laughs> throw her a bone. Mm. <laughs> ha ha. So, and um, see, imagine if this all went as planned, like. Just then, what, like the next Christmas party or whatever? It's <laughs> just yeah. like, hey, Michael, how's it going? By the way, smell that? Yeah. <laughs> it smells like your wife, doesn't it? That shit never <laughs> washes off. Yeah. Like, oh. It's just if, why for she, years. Why do you think she giggles every time she sees a Coke can? <laughs> oh. So, um, where are even are we now? Uh, <laughs> oh. My job is done. Yeah. So, uh, now the, um, there's this one kind of like really he looks like a very aggressive nerd that's with um, uh, yeah. Richter and he's like I gotta track her on him we'll follow him. Yeah, this like guy him. is my favorite. Oh yeah, yeah, like he's the most competent man in the movie. Um, 
Yeah. Till he meets Thumbelina. I, he's yeah, the most confident I think or he confident might be, man in the woman in the movie. He also might be the most competent second hand man in yeah. like any movie. Yeah. His he, job I, is to stop Richter from fucking up. He's yeah. a true class A goon. <laughs> yeah. So he's a Bob. He's a real Bob. Now um he uh he's running to the subway again and um you know, he's got to go through the skeleton detector. And now the skeleton detector's like, oh, you got a gun. Yeah, yeah I just right. no recollection that, yeah, he's packing heat. He just well, runs right in there. He's got to hurry. He doesn't. Oh, yeah. yeah. My so, favorite part is they apparently have no real, like, protocol for this. So no. just, like, there's people crowding around, like, <laughs> oh, what's that noise? Oh, what's the, going on here? The first step was just going, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they, they literally, like, I noticed there was this one woman that was, like, oh. like peering over, like, is that gunshots? Yeah. Like, <laughs> why would you? No, oh, get away. World, go you, away. C- you can <laughs> set off explosives. You could fire automatic weapons yeah, right next is, to people. This is well, in Mars, I, that seems yeah, to happen every time. Mars. But yeah. in this <laughs> Wherever they were, where were those? He, when he kills or, Gary and those okay. four dudes, he shoots the last two of them, and there's people just walking like fifty feet away. Like yeah, what? Yeah, that's true. So, you know, I suppose I mean, that is true. It's like it's, pre post nine eleven. It's proverbial uh, splatter punk brand of cyberpunk. Hmm. So, um, anyway, uh, <laughs> it's a mysterious stain on my shirt. She was just uh, lactating. It's not that yeah. mysterious. So he just dives through the skeleton sensor, runs past everyone who are like, they're all like, he's not supposed to do that. And then <clears throat> the the man I feel worst for in this entire film, he comes to this escalator and there's goons on the top. There's Michael Ironsides on the bottom and his class A goon. He's, he's stuck. Everyone starts shooting. He just grabs the man next to him. Yep. <laughs> this... this guy gets shot like 50 times. This yep. poor fucking bastard. <laughs> There's like nothing left of his body. But he's not like an agent. He's just a dude. Just he a was dude, just dude. the guy in line in front of him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wrong know. place, wrong time. Yeah. You do not want to be in front of yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger on an escalator. This man ever. is just made out of squibs. <laughs> he basically just explodes. And then Arnold guns down all the goons at the top. And now the guy's out of blood, so he probably only weighs like 20 pounds. He just picks the okay, dude up and but hucks him at. What if, uh-huh. in an alternate reality, Uh-oh. he becomes RoboCop? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. He spends the entire movie <laughs> yeah. hunting down Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. And the end is, instead of the dumb bullshit that happens, it's RoboCop versus Terminator. Essentially. pretty cool. So, Dead or alive. So to show that Richter is an asshole, he steps on that one goon that tried to help his wife that is now very dead. Yeah. Just stomps on him like whatever. And um, they run down to the subway and Arnold like shoots a window on the subway and jumps in. And they're like, I don't care about collateral damage. Just rake the subway with automatic weapon fire. Yeah. Like that car is long since gone. They're just shooting the subway. And here's like, here's where I ran into a quandary. What's that? (laughs) I'm not rooting for anyone in this movie. Mm -hmm. I don't like any of the characters. (laughs) Arnold is a moron. He's an asshole who never should have, like, just gone and done this shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, he's not just I just hate everybody. What about Thumbelina? (laughs) Thumbelina's fine. Yeah, right. fine. Thumb- cool. She's all right. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. I'm totally cool with Thumbelina. So, Thumb- yeah. Thumbelina's my favorite character yeah. in the movie. Yeah, she might She might legitimately be <laughs> the best character. See, <laughs> yeah, I I'm, I'm feel bad because, like, yeah, I think my favorite character is that the nerdy secondhand guy. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's, te- cool he's on the wrong too. side. I mean, yeah. Even still, he's obviously a villain. It is. Well, but he's like, think about how many people Richter's going to kill if he's not there. That's true. <laughs> But at the same time, it's like He's the Richter first control. person Richter yeah. would kill would be Richter, and then the problem is solved. Like he's gonna but do yeah. something stupid, kill yeah. like fifty people plus himself, and then you're done. It is important to say because we probably will have to skip over a lot of these. Just how often Arnold Schwarzenegger needlessly shoves people out of the way, oh yeah, punches oh, yeah. them, yeah. He's a rude, <laughs> sticks them in front of gunfire. He's, yeah. He's selfish. No. He wants to go to Mars for some. Fucking stupid reason nobody can figure out. Keeps like, carving mashed potatoes. Well, we yeah. we kind of know. <laughs> yeah, we went, we've uh, been to Mars. Depending. It's awful. 
There's no, but he's got, he's got the destiny to, to change that. He's got memories inside him. Yeah, okay. Cool. He's got a Not even a Sharon Stone Punani session can suppress. He's got to visit a dolphin so he can get the memories out of him. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, <laughs> um, he goes to a hotel room. He just gets a call from some rando. He needs a chest. They're like, Yoda quick, figure. don a wet turban now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turban mode activate. Wait, so how does this? So he okay. figured out how to make that thing real, real quick, quick too. Yeah. How does this I person know that. where he is? Uh, well, I mean, later on they say that it, he was that he guy was there from Verhoeven. Yeah, See, that guy probably has the tracker too. Well, yeah. It, now you're getting into the complicated thing of the overall point of this is movie, this which a, is: is this or is it? Is yeah. this real? Is this not real? Uh, is what side is he truly working for? Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> Just well, they they explicitly say that this guy was put there by. He was a friend of Hauser's. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and well that part, but I mean like how he knew to because he, he says you know Hauser told me uh, if what something happens like uh, I should bring you this case, but like how would he know he'd be at that hotel? How would he know that number? How he he right, the, the tracker that they had set up. Yeah. yeah, like what happens if Ironside just gets I, a lucky but, shot and shoots this dude in the head? Well, that's that's why Cohagen's like. Do not shoot this man. And Richter's like, oh, no, I can't hear you. I'm going to turn the TV Probably off. That's, yeah, it's just well, why he put Richter anywhere near this? Right. Like, oh, don't shoot the man that's been banging your wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's... you can't see me moving my head. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Maybe Cohagen just wants Richter to get killed. And he's like, Hauser's going to fuck this man up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rick, Richter was expendable. This yeah. is all about like, manipulating. Like, I get maybe, that, but like, yeah. Richter's not the only but one there. Maybe he was. He's arrogant enough to think like, mm. oh hell, he, there's no way he could fuck this up. Or maybe they were hoping, you know, Quaid Hauser would kill him. That way, in the end, he could get Sharon Stone for good, and they can mm. wipe her mind and make yeah. him his wife. Who yeah. knows? Who knows? Plan. He was like, even, oh, even he's with, a bad man. With even bad with plan. his memory erased, Hauser is too hardcore. For Richter to yep to properly fuck with, he's too legit to quit. So, and how do you keep him away from all this without telling him what the big plan is? One thing I love with this movie, though, is it goes out of its way to show you how terrible this world is. Because he just the briefcase that gets left for him, he just has to have a random fight with an old lady. Yeah, like a fifteen second yeah. tug of war with this yep. woman who she calls him a fucking asshole. Yeah. He should have camel punched her. Yeah. <laughs> I she don't know why he didn't. In the middle of the, of the stairwell. She's just I, like, this is mine now. This might be why I might be worse than him, but I probably, once I got that free from her hands, whipped it back oh, yeah. around in her face. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> just for good measure. Yep. All right. He so now. all of the other innocent bystanders. Mm -hmm. Why not her? I mean, yeah, that's true. Now Richter shows up and he's just shooting. So um, Arnold summons his best. <laughs> Um, and what are we at for a count? That's number three. Yeah, he just rips Johnny out of his cab and takes over the controls. Because, um, yeah, he tells him, drive. And he's like, you need to give me a house number and a street. And he's, he's like, shit. And he's like, I don't know where shit is. And so that he just he murders Johnny Cab and drives off. Absolutely. You know, or he's like, that's not a valid address. Give anything. You could have been like New York Airport. Or, uh, well, yeah, I don't know if that yeah. still exists here, but you know, like something. <laughs> and yeah. It would have been like, okay. But yeah. Oh. Instead, <laughs> let's take a few minutes to scream and rip him out. As far and as then, I know, every town has a main street. Yeah, yeah, that's true. This scene makes no goddamn sense because he drives to the old cement factory and then the Johnny Cab's like, that'll be 18 credits. And he's like, sue me. <laughs> the Johnny Cab <laughs> screams. And decides to do a suicide run into the wall. I can only assume if you try to get out of yeah. not paying for the cab, the cab is designed to kamikaze. <laughs> yeah, not even just kamikaze, but like specifically run you down. Yeah, maybe maybe the kamikaze is part of it. I don't know. I had interpreted that. Um, I keep saying wanting to say Verhagen, Bert Thank yeah. you. Um, that he was powerful enough that he had people hack into it. And we're mm. like, okay, kill the guy mm. or something Maybe. like that. Then you just pissed off Robo, RoboCab. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be pretty funny, though, if, like, if you don't pay your cab fare and the cab just suddenly sets fire to itself. Like, yeah, yeah, it's just one of those scenes where they're like, we need a fucking explosion right now. Yeah. So let's, 
We'll make this electric golf cart. Yeah, kill <laughs> itself. That's <laughs> really more like Twice. It. It's like, we're going to just fucking space mutiny this shit. Yeah. And just like, these these little cars are just... Gonna <laughs> well, you, I think it, the bigger thing was, yeah, we needed an excuse for why they were able to track him without the yeah. tracker. It explodes. Then, like, we see Johnny Cab melting, and then the fucking thing explodes again. Yep. So he finds, Arnold goes into the cement factory and finds the best rat covered table. And he opens up his uh, case. He's got all kinds of stuff in there. He's got Martian money. He's got his, his hologram <laughs> watch. Martian that money Martian. is red. <laughs> yep. Yes, it's red. Because Earth is green. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks it. super green. <laughs> and he then buys he... Park Place. He buys the Railroad <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> He, he's immediately bamboozled by the hologram watch that he shoots at. Yeah. Um, he finds some sort of nose probe and a <laughs> laptop. <laughs> this laptop. Yes. Is, it's a 1980s laptop. Who's yeah. Lap? Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> Andre the well, Giant. Yeah. It's like 50 pounds. It's got like 10 buttons. Probably has a battery life of like. 12 minutes. It's like 14 by 36. I think yeah. Is yeah, the that's the most interesting thing. It's not saying a laptop oh. is too generous. Yeah. Cause it seems to only have the one function. Mm. So this is more yeah. like those, uh, uh, digital picture frames you can get for yeah. your parents. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, this thing, like it's gigantic, but you open it up and it has like a six inch TV screen in there. It's running on Winamp. Yeah, and he's talking, he's talking to himself, and himself is like, "Oh, you must have a wet towel on no, your head now." That was QuickTime player. Yeah. <laughs> Flash player. I was trying oh. to work in like a slap the llama <laughs> joke, but it just didn't. So it didn't pan out. He's like, I, uh, "I'm fighting for the wrong team. I decided, you know, to change sides. You so, got to get this tracker out so of you." So he's gay for the rest of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> get your nose probe out and just ram it up there. If you hear a crunch, you're doing it right. Don't worry. It'll take care of everything Which, else. What the f- wait, 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 wait. No matter what you do, you're going to hear a crunch. So how is that doing it right? <laughs> we just, it's when you know you've hit the sinus cavity. Yeah. We just get this awful Arnold Schwarzenegger well, mask. He puts it in sideways. He just yeah. cracks through the bridge of his nose and it just shoots out the other side of his eyeball. Keeps ripping his own teeth yeah, out. How does this go not- through his soft palate. <laughs> You Which, got that crunch yet, pal? Yeah, I, I don't know how this doesn't kill him, but the other thing that threw me off, because I totally forgot this about this movie, I thought the ball he pulls out mm. is the thing. Nope. It's no. just the machine got like eight times larger when it caught the thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, now that it's bigger, let's just rip that out through yeah, your so nose. So the machine apparently put a ball around the object mm-hmm. and then pulled it out. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because he pulled out the ball and inside the ball yeah, is the ball like up. blood. Yeah, is the tracker. Yeah. The yeah. bloody tracker. So what? Yeah. I, what? Uh, it's, could be lubrication. I don't know. I'm, no. It's the, the <laughs> marble, the you, when he's trying is, to pull that out, I, I all I can think of is that thing of like, you know, with Homer Simpson where they're like, his hand is stuck in the machine. Yeah. And they're like, wait, are you still holding on to the can? Let so, go, you so, idiot. Here's like, the this, thing. Here's the thing, Brick. All right. Um, I want you to put a penny in your ass, all right? But for <laughs> lubrication, yeah. put the penny inside a plastic Easter egg and then put it in your ass. The Easter egg will be the lubrication, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. No, the ball around it is to protect the device. Yeah, but the but the ball was not inside his nose. Because the device no. itself has blood on it. No, yeah, the when it opens doesn't. up and the little bullet-shaped oh, tracker I see what has yeah. blood on it. That's what I'm saying. So. The device he sent in, we saw that little claw it had. Mm-hmm. Apparently, that little claw comes out, grabs the thing, and then forms a giant ball around it for you to take out of your nose. <laughs> also, um, listeners at home. Of course, there was while this is happening. That's number four. And then he he shoots a Beyblade out of his penis. Also, also just for my own uh, tracking here, I think Uh, this is just just the third at this point Arnold puppet head we get. uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah. It it won't be the last. Oh, definitely not. No, this one's this. This isn't even the worst one, but it's pretty bad. They make me pine for the Terminator one Arnold puppet head. (laughs) So I don't know what you're talking about. They were amazing. Now, now yeah, the amazing, the <laughs> amazing, the uh, not not for the reasons they intended, but amazing. Well, so okay, we all know here at the table. I'm a fan of puppet people. Yep. <laughs> this didn't do it. This didn't mm. do it for me. There was not. It was. They were trying too hard to make it realistic. 
But failing just like at that critical level. What if at one point a puppet man got thrown out a window? It, it, it didn't happen. Yeah, I know. I, um, can't, I can't hang wait. my hat on hopes and dreams. I, I feel like um. I feel like a real Michael Ironsides went through that window. Excuse me. Hmm. I saw some security guards that got thrown out oh, that window. True. Yeah. When they when he arrived on Mars, I I'm pretty sure. That, probably, um, so. We probably. didn't get. Yeah. I mean, it would have been nice to see him land. But anyway. Like, well, I barely yeah, made it to a fat lady. You know? So <laughs> he has to get his ass to Mars. Rob w- did not make it that far. His, his ass had to go to the, to the bathroom. Yeah, my ass had to so, had drop off some off. moon rocks. So to clarify, this is, was, it, was it the second or the third puppet head? Probably third. Uh, uh, how many? Well, there's there was the Mars decompressing head. The, the, yeah. Yeah, the Mars the dream decompression. decompressing head. Yeah. No, yeah, it's I second, I guess. Second second one. One. Okay. I think they used the fake head when he went down on Sharon Stone, that one scene. We're not, we're not counting that one. So, uh, second puppet head, how many grunts? Uh, we're at four. Four grunts and second bathroom break? No, it was my first bathroom no, he, I only, I only He's still one, in the bathroom. He I never had, made I it out. One oh, bathroom still, break oh. for the whole film. Oh, yeah. right. No, my, one now, bathroom break. My I will mistake. say, okay. it was several shits, but one break. <laughs> what... The amount of material we're talking about flew by in the span of a couple minutes. There's just we're so about much. Rob's house or the movie? There's uh, both. both. There's so <laughs> much weird shit happening. Yeah, exactly. Still both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it um, was half a Domino's yeah. pizza and half of a cheesy bread. No, he didn't even <laughs> chew it. Like it just came out. Oh, out well, I in. definitely did not. Chew. I can't. I can't. I. I don't have time to chew. And it's also, <laughs> the shit that happens. I was not I in the bathroom, but I guarantee Good. at some point. He made the face that Arnold makes in that dream where he's on Mars and his face gets exposed. I was yeah. dreaming of being on Mars. Actually, I was making a- AI he images. He was decompressing. Of yeah. Cookie Monster made of spaghetti. That's right. <laughs> oh, I called it a level part. four woman. Level I got the other one you sent me. That's right. But anyway, Poor so I, I would like to nominate here a uh, fat chat hero because he fools Michael Ironsides by putting um, the the bloody nose bullet yep. in a Snickers bar. Yep. I don't know if the Snickers bar was there or if that, like if he left himself a Snickers, that was in his in his secret yeah. Yeah. Kit, which so emergency. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, emergency you're going to need Snickers. emergency yep. Snickers. Yeah. You got to have that. Uh, you're not yourself when you're hungry. Exactly. <laughs> I got feel- terrible. Arnold. I'm so sorry. I felt like you're this was in, in like a maniac mansion or whatever, where you're just randomly using things in your inventory together to see what happens. <laughs> but this fucking rat, like it's like I'm eating that. Yeah, I want that Snickers bar. Oh yeah, I'm getting and they're, that shit. They're like raking this whole room with gunfire several times. The rats like no, dude. The rats I don't like, care. The rats like uh, nougat, peanuts, and caramel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. go fuck yourself. I'll take yeah, the not, bullet. Yeah. Not only yeah, not only am I gonna fight other rats for this piece, I'm gonna fight these guys I who will, are firing I will risk yeah. automatic gunfire. weapons at me. And, the the only successful thing he has done so far, freaking Richter, just murders this rat. Well, does he wow. murder it? Does he turn him into a delicious grape jelly? Uh, he well, he does, and he throws that all over the screen that has <laughs> yeah. um, Hauser going, "Get your ass to Mars! Get your ass to Mars!" <laughs> the three foot by Way to cover sixteen your foot yeah. screen of this laptop. Yep. So now we uh, we see a spaceship landing on a sweet composite shot oh of, yeah it's great of a model of matte painting and possibly footage of real people in the I think so. foreground there was a lot going on Just there doing the same, none of it looked real the but. same motion over and over <laughs> yeah. again it's like it was a dance party out there. Fucking, it was like the fucking carousel of progress. <laughs> <laughs> you These know people have made contact with Mars. Say what you want. <laughs> I'm Here still, I am so happy to have this over the CGI nonsense yeah. we've had more in the like early 2000s and whatnot. Yeah. This is one where if CGI was there to clean this up, fantastic. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. All right. Anyway, um... So now, Instead, now CGI is ninety percent of the movie. Mm-hmm. It's um, great. I love it. You can't smoke anywhere on Mars, so that's pretty cool. Why can't you smoke anywhere? Uh, the air is air. extremely yeah. limited. That shit's expensive. We don't got time to clean but, smoke out of it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Huh. Um, that makes sense. Jesus, uh, we just got to Mars. Oh, yep. Fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I'm gonna make you real upset by distracting us further. 
What so do you much think for that early start we got today? Right? What do you think would be the uh, the more profitable option, selling the air or selling tobacco? Uh, hmm. I mean, everybody I needs air. Everyone is addicted to air. I mean, if so. you're a dude, you so if you're a dude that controls the air, I would just set up like a smoking area with air. And let people go smoke there and just charge mm. them entry. Or, yeah, charge people a permit to, to yeah. smoke. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. So another entry in the what, why the fuck file. Um, we see in customs, like, uh, just, just just this random gigantic woman there. Just She's, she's going to be on Mars be for two weeks. Be very careful with your words, Joe. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, we're I, the, I will say we're in the body positivity. She, she is credited life. in the credits as fat woman. As fat woman. That, that is, is fucked up. <laughs> fuck, that fucked is up, but true. Fucked up, yeah. but that is let's, fucked up, guys. Let's put it this way: she is a lady right. who is large enough to hypothetically hide an Arnold Schwarzenegger. She can, she large can enough, an Arnold. Large enough to take everything I've got to give. Mm-hmm. And more. And more. <laughs> she's she's basically much more, to be honest. Yeah. Unfortunately though, her, real, much more. her head is going to explode. Oh yeah, that's fine. So is mine. That's fine. Get ready for a surprise. <laughs> all right, over all over those jowls. Basically but, Arnold is trying to sneak in the same yeah. way that one alien in the first men in black movie is. Well, we we have no context for how this thing works. All we know is it, oh, yeah. it doesn't. It glitches it's up. just like two weeks. To, to, uh, so, okay. so why is Arnold ramming his fingers? I, yeah, I don't get that <laughs> at all. Like, uh, none of this makes sense. So, yeah. like, uh, okay, why? Uh, presumably, is he speaking for this thing? No. I, I would imagine it's automatic, which is why yeah. it's repeating. It's, well, like, yeah, it's a robotic. But it has recorded. no problem speaking in a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When it's well, it's, well it has it reset phrases, yeah. which is the problem. And it resets once he t- well, takes Arnold, it off his head. Arnold, when you behind ask, him, he's got the, the tape recorder, well, like no, in True got, Lies. Yeah. He's got a pull string. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, what? That, There's a yeah. snake I, in Joe's got the Joe's got the better option, actually. Yeah, yeah it is. Because I think it has, says. like, you know, pre-recorded messages. So it's like, how long are you going to be here? Two weeks. Did you bring any fruit? I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't think of this. Two weeks? Two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> And then it just goes, baby. <laughs> now, yeah, I I don't know if that was just him because mm-hmm. he can't see in that thing and he's trying to yeah. fix it. But he just starts, like, shoving his fingers in his eyes and his mouth. He forgot and... where the button is. Yeah. It's not unlike I, that could be. the guy in Poltergeist ripping his face apart. Like, <laughs> yeah. And it's equally as unsettling to look yeah, at. No, it's not. And now... So it's not that it's bad. It's just but... some fat bitch putting her fingers in her mouth. I mean, what's unusual about that? <laughs> They're not covered just... in barbecue sauce. Sure they were. <laughs> One minute he's up here. Yep. The next minute he's down there. It is. <laughs> so anyway. Over here. So um, <laughs> apparently the same ship also included uh, fucking... Um, uh, Richter, because mm. Richter's talking to the chief of police, and chief of police is like, "Oh, they love this Quato guy. They graffitied him on the wall." Yeah. And Richter's like, "Does anybody else see what's happening?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, this woman is literally about to explode. <laughs> Nobody's paying attention. Yeah. Which <laughs> I guess this happens all the time. At Mars. I mean, that is seems to be the case. But you get ex- could you imagine? New planet, you're excited. <laughs> how She's mad he must an have episode. been. He was. He spends nine months mm. on that ship. Yep. And he's there the whole damn time. Yeah. <laughs> and only until they get to customs does yep. he realize that Quaid's actually on the ship. Yeah. yeah. The so. part that really gets me, though, is, like, he gets he gets off the ship, and the security guard from Mars is, like, shit-talking him. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, you do a crappy job and whatever. You're, you know, you suck and what you let him get away. And he's talking all this crap while he walks past this woman who's... <laughs> Freaking out and <laughs> ripping half her face off. Like, hey, Just uh, another day like, hey, hey, yeah. hey, Brick, can I have my uh, watermelon limeade back? So, <laughs> I'm yeah. afraid. You what? don't get to mm-hmm. withhold drinks from me in my own house. All, so this mask has other functions besides right, making a horrible rocket. Um, it it. In a very weird... Well, first off, like Scorpius from Farscape, this big old piston just comes out the yeah. side of the head. Like, where was that in I, relation to Arnold? Like, that doesn't make yeah, any sense. Nope. In this 
this but makes sense. Yeah, it's then just... he pushes that back in, yanks the wig off. The whole thing like breaks apart into segments and like lifts off in what at the time is admittedly an impressive special effect. It's still but like it's still pretty cool. It rebuilds itself into the woman's head. Now it's works and he he throws Let, it to the police. Let's we're at fake Arnold head number three at this. Yes. point. Yeah. Yep. Cause, fake yeah. Because Arnold the, puppet head. And so now, open the door. I appreciate that, Rob. You try. You did legit try. But he, Usually, you're the one that's yeah. like. I love I, much like his uh, handling. Of sensitive materials a moment ago. He yeah. either goes from, I'm so subtle you won't understand this, to yelling into the microphone what he wants. <laughs> Open no. the fucking door. He's definitely full tard. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> fucking Rob. Close anyway. the fucking doors. So I had to get like a, like a padded chest piece because I keep hitting my hand to it. God damn it. So, as tards do, Joe. This head fucking explodes. Yeah. And, um, you know. But she's like, get ready for a surprise. Then Richter's like, don't worry. I can make this worse. I'm just going to shoot out this window and kill half <laughs> right. of these fours yep. right here. So, you would think that, like, being on Mars, you'd understand how mm -hmm. this works? No, Speaking on that's... Mars, I wonder if they'd have bullets because... Or the you'd risk... wonder well, if they'd invest well, in bulletproof glass. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I think it was just Richter is an idiot. Like, well, yeah, but like... also, like, everything mm. here just meets, seems to be made out of very breakable material. Yeah. Yes, it... but even that is kind of discussed because they say, you know, it's all about profit. So he makes shitty yeah, he did, materials because yeah. so, like, he doesn't really care. Yeah, that... It's a little weird because he does apparently live here, right? Yeah. But maybe it's in you know he's dome. like yeah he's a slum lord and that's yeah. just the good stuff's over in his area. Also, um, the good like stuff there's no is his area. there's no automatic closing doors when the room decompresses. That, no, yeah, through me manually <laughs> yeah. push it. Yeah, I like how there's a big red button in the middle mm -hmm. of the, the security console. Yeah, there's, there's no doors at all. Somebody just goes outside with masking tape and puts a big X <laughs> on the windows. <laughs> Don't put it hold it. You're fine. The reason half of these people die is because the guy who is seated in front of that button got sucked towards the window and had to crawl his way back. Yeah. Like, that's kind of a flaw in your plan. Yeah. You'd think so, that he'd be seat belted to the seat. Yeah. Or like have a, like, you know, something strapped to him. So if he gets sucked towards a window, it yeah, automatically triggers. Well, you would think any number of sensors could also automatically just yeah. figure out there's no air in the room anymore. Well, it's like this is a future designed by people that have no yeah. idea what no, anything it's, is. It's like OCP. Like, why did they give all their test prototypes live ammo right, yeah. right from the get go? It's just, <laughs> and it's the just answer a crazy for future. all of it is a beautiful <laughs> Paul Verhoeven. Yeah, yep. beautiful mind. <laughs> so, um, I, I recall am it, Sam as, style beautiful mind. As the doors close, um, Doug here runs under a door and es escapes. Yeah. And uh, Richter's like, open the door. And the security chief's like, they're all linked. And your dumbass decompressed. <laughs> yeah, the they're place. all linked. Which, including this one, which closed like way slower than Yeah. yeah. There's always yeah. one door that lags behind. Yeah. Why? Uh, it's shitty doors. It's the, I don't uh, know. Yeah, it's the, well, we put it. We, this door has yeah. the uh, Indiana Jones protocol where <laughs> yeah. you can grab yeah. your hat if you need to. It's the plot well, protocol. Yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. See, while all the other doors have closed, Arnold's like mashing triangle on the controller doing the quick time event <laughs> to like <laughs> make it to the door in time. Yeah. So um, now we find out there's uh, there's mutants on Mars. Uh, we're on a subway. And um, he talks to this random guy that, like, he looks out the window and there's this big, like, uh, Olympus Mons looking, you know, mountain. And he asks this guy, he's like, what's that? And he's like, oh, that's the Turbo Man mine. I used to work there. But uh, Cohagen shut that down. Oh, um, they said they found aliens. alien shit in there. I deal with mm. alien shit on yeah. Mars, of all places. Oh, fuck. Merca. So, well... I mean, Mars. Cut. No, to be fair, yeah. the guy wasn't against dealing with aliens or anything. He was saying that it got shut down because they found alien yeah. shit there. And he's just pissed because he's out of a job now. Mm. 
Arnold's so, the one that's like, do you believe in that alien yeah. shit? And, like, yeah. and that guy was one of the Daryls, right? Sure. He looked like a Daryl. He looked like a Daryl. My other brother, Daryl. So I know who you mean, but... Oh. From Evening Shade, Tony. Mm. God, come on. I thought it was from the Paul Newhart show. Or the, Newhart? Uh, or? Uh, sure. I don't know. Maybe. So... <laughs> Um, Richter's like, I gotta go meet Dick Jones. I mean, go ahead. And he goes and wait, meets Dick Jones. Yeah, it's the same guy. Uh, wait, was that his name in Robocop? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So evil he, CEO. Yep. Uh, Paul Verhoeven liked him so much. He just brought him back. For yeah. this I mean, that's what he does. Yeah. He also said yes. So, um, Cohagen's like, you asshole. You just started shooting at everything. You've yet your answer to every problem and it has solved zero. Um, well, yeah, but what other options did he have? You know, like, can't let Quaid get to Quato. By the way, I have a plan that's going to totally get Quaid to make it to Quato. Right. So here's the thing. <laughs> like, your plan is stupid from the start. But he never he never told Michael well, Ironsides that, I guess. Why not just not involve Michael Ironsides? Yeah. Have, spoiler alert. Michael Ironsides knew from the beginning. He's like, wait a minute. This is just a plan for him to pork my wife, isn't it? Well, that's <laughs> yeah, obviously, it. Obviously. Yeah. Really, what this all hinges on is why did he choose Sharon Stone? The entire company has taken turns making plans to pork his wife. Yeah, I, that might be true. And I can't. That might be true. I can't blame I know them. Yeah, I can't blame them. ladies, yep. but I can't blame them. That's not, yep. Wow. And you know. <laughs> Richter, he would quit, but he just he wants that pension. He's almost yeah. he's almost there. Sorry, Understand? Sharon. Yeah, he's, he's been like, told this he's whole movie there. hinges on that. But if that guy, if this asshole, because I'm sure it was him, if he wasn't like, when I go under, I want to fuck my Ironside's wife. Yeah. If he was just picked some random woman off the street, we wouldn't have a movie. Wait, if who went under? When who went under? Uh, Hauser. Um, Hauser. Hauser. Yeah, but uh, Doogie. Because he picked. Uh, Richter's wife, Richter got all up on his ass and was following him and he's like, if anything happens, but, let me know. But Hauser wanted to bang this other Melina. Yeah, yeah. well, I guess he probably already was. Pick one, dude. Like He wants them both. Yeah, he wants both. That's what ruins their plan. Yeah. It's That's arrogance. Stupid. I'm, I'm, yep. I'm saying it's well, stupid. That's I'm with you. This yeah. whole thing is stupid. Like, <laughs> so, don't include Ironside in the first place. Just have him meet up with Benny the cab driver, take him directly to Quato, and then you're done. Well, again, that's that's what their Bro, plan was. We would miss so much great stuff, though. Yeah. Okay. Michael yeah. Ironside is oh, only okay. involved. There would, be, there would be no three-tittied woman. Oh, gosh. sorry. <laughs> I would hate to miss out on the fucking... Yeah. Three titty paper mache fucking <laughs> quinceanera. They were better. They were better quality than paper mache. Not I by barely, much. I Not barely. by much. I, paper mache was making up their internal structure. <laughs> yeah. I'll be they honest. Had a good coat of liquid latex. Yeah, oh. I'll be honest. When she got shot in the back and her chest exploded, I expected Candy to fly out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I mean, gentlemen. Great We're getting ahead talk, of ourselves. I've talked to my wife about that, about Candy exploding out, and she said no to. That's how that clown died. I His asked, lungs were filled with candy. The lungs are full of candy. I did ask my wife if she'd be willing to add a, a third titty. And uh, wow. she asked me if I'd be willing to add a third nut. And uh, I then elbowed you in the chest and kicked you in the dick. Kicked, kicked me right in the dick. And I was like, you know what? A third nut probably wouldn't be a great idea. <laughs> So I, I would Mr. Belvedere myself yeah. immediately. <laughs> Maybe one dick. You didn't even sit down yet. No, oh. I wouldn't even need to sit down. Like three nuts. Like you just walk and kick those shits around, and you'd be like, "It's like a punching bag." Ow. Just like Ow. Ow. like Ow. those kinetic Ow. movement machines. Oh yeah, so just clack, 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 a, a Newton's cradle. Clack, yes. Clack, <laughs> oh yeah. Clacking back and forth. As soon as I tried to lie down, it'd be like, "Oh god." Well, I guess it depends. Where would it be? Between his legs. Right in between yeah, the Yeah, like, where would the third titty be? I, Same place. Back of the head. <laughs> I, you're assuming a third lot. Third titty goes between the two titties. Third nut goes between the three and two But nuts. even if that that's true. That is an true, interesting idea. If hip bones a, connected to the leg bone. Right. <laughs> even if, if that's true. Behind your head, you could, like, lay on it. Like oh, God. Pillow. Whoa, why? No, no, no. <laughs> Ignore, <laughs> ignore that. Okay. Ignore that. And That's there, hard. I wanna, I wanna <laughs> there'd be one. There'd be one there to use as a handle when you're wait, doing wait, wait. Doggy I yeah. think I might be on board for this. 
Tell me more about these head titties. Oh, I thought he was talking about having a nut on the back of your head. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. Oh, God. No. A titty no. on the back Turtle. of your head. I already know you'd like a nut on the back of your head. Anyway, it's uh. You son on the of back a of bitch. Neck, right? It's just there. Whoa, there's a breeze in here all of a sudden. Yeah, there's a fan. There's a oh, fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Rob's just been blocking it from jumping. I'm not used to airflow. <laughs> I know. That's why I put the fan there. Neither is Mars. Yeah. Like, even with the air, it's just like. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Tell us more about this head titty, Brick. <laughs> so you, you have a titty on the back of your neck. Right. right? Sounds delightful, actually. So you don't have to worry about um, bringing travel pillows. It's when ergonomic. You're, exactly. It's ergonomic. It's built right in. Mm-hmm. Can't slide down. Can I get one at the small of my back as well? Two. At the small of your back. Oh. Yes. <laughs> but you got to go into the really cheaply built dome and just absorb the Martian rays. You know, yes. I'm okay with this. All right. I'm okay. If you're okay with this, I'm actually I just happen to have learned of a friend who has some radiation that we can bump <laughs> into your house and just let us see what happens. Yeah, I could hook you radiation. up. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're because you're sick and dying from that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But also just to clarify real quick, unfortunately I, I don't know how to properly get this to our listeners, but mm. you're assuming the balls are like this. Which I'm saying what if they're row. like this? Okay, so Tony That's is still bad. Bad. He's still bad. Tony is indicating that there's two balls in front and one behind. No, absolutely not. Because that 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 means when I sat down, my legs would immediately crush that third ball. It'd be the, like bowling pins. The potential torsion would be unacceptable. I am fat. Like I'm I'm <laughs> like I'm obese like tipping the scale of morbidly obese, and mm. I don't want my thighs to crush the single nut. I'd have to have like I'd have to have like a Tupac situation where one was taken out, which would leave me with two, which is totally defeats this whole conversation. Yeah, I would need three nuts in a row, <coughs> preferably with like, like a Newton's cradle, like a Newton's cradle, if you will. Yeah, um, I wouldn't like that. There's no. What if they were in a row going? This no, way, no, 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 you're still... That's going to make the Newton's cradle worse. Okay, do you <laughs> I guarantee you that. Like, walking? Like, oh, yeah. No. I, do you chafe when you walk? <laughs> I try not to walk. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's giving me this. Anyway, look. three balls, fat thighs, no good. No. Moving no, on. Even normal thighs. Like, even if you had, like, a thigh gap. You think we're moving on, John? No, we're, we're never moving on. We're never moving on. This movie goes nowhere. <laughs> This conversation makes as much sense as anything in this fucking movie does. This what? Okay, All never right. mind. All right, prove can, me wrong, kids. Can, can I just get us to the part where the three titty ladies real yeah. quick, Please. and then then yeah, we can resume yeah. this conversation? Yes, 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 okay, so <laughs> after we basically find out that Kogan has a plan to get um, Quaid to go see Quato, uh, that he hasn't told Richter. Now Quaid he he walks. Uh, to the Hilton in Mars, and he walks past all these cab guys, uh, one of which we see is uh, Benny, who will be an important character in the future. Then um, the other is David Spade. He goes over to the desk at the Hilton and asks uh, to get his usual room, and he finds out he left something for himself in the safe. It's a uh, it's a flyer that says, for a good time, ask for Molina at the last resort. Yeah. Yep. So then he's like, is this my handwriting? Because I don't know what my handwriting looks like. So he takes a pen and writes Molina. And he's why? like, shit, I wrote that. I why was don't you wondering know what your own handwriting looks like? Yeah. <laughs> maybe it changes. Well, maybe maybe as he becomes more Hauser. Well, in the future, well, when do you write? When do you I use mean, pen? I mean, in it, this it is, future? It is true. Yeah. Like, All the time, I assume. Cause this not future, much do you know true. how to read? It's just, it's dirtier than the past. This future is dirtier than I will the present. Go, I will go through phases where I write letters totally differently. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ignore so that again. <laughs> As always, don't engage. No, I, I think the more important thing that everyone is missing is, again, did you see, other than this point, did you see him write anything? No. Neither okay. is he. But I so, assume he's no, 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 literate. But he was just told that his entire life is a lie. So until this point, he's not, he might not be sure. Like, he might think that looks like my handwriting, but is that my handwriting? I don't even know. Yeah. If my handwriting is my handwriting. You know, like, so. Fine, fine, fine. All right. Yeah. Get some deep. So Rob, he walks, he's just checking it out. He's checking out that yeah. the thing is legit. He walks That's out all. of the hotel, and now um, Benny the cabbie runs up. 
grabs Arnold. This other guy's like, not hey, the man, animated one. I got magazines. <laughs> yeah, in not my the car. one from Roger Rabbit. And that <laughs> <laughs> would be much more interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got five kids. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he takes off his door, and he's got like this mutant. <laughs> Like tentacle oh thing. I would love that so much. <laughs> anyway, um, There's some five so, little cartoon cars rolling around. So, Daddy. like 198. Um, Wait, no. Sorry, just. <laughs> We're never getting there, Jack. He takes his wheel off. Yeah. yeah. What was that? That old uh, remote control car that had the claws. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. He just has one of. The, he has a wheel like that. If, oh. if only, because nothing can stop the animal. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. Um, <sighs> like, like a scene right out of Brazil, like war just breaks out right yeah, there. Oh, Things yeah. explode. Guys are shooting each other. <laughs> Benny's just like, it's another day on Mars. Get in the cab. I'll drive us out of here. And Arnold's like, oh, yeah. what a relaxing vacation. Yeah. This is yeah. exactly what I want. where you wanted to be. And then he, um, they drive the taxi past this like crazy looking drill machine. And it's got like drills on top of drills and augers on the drills. And you're like. Oh, man, someone's got to get hit with that later. Oh, yeah. And then um, he heads over to the last resort in Sector G. It's a Venusville, which is uh, where you both get the psychic mutants and the whores. Possibly both. Psychic whores. Yeah. Yeah. So he's like... They know what you want. (laughs) He's like, wow, she's actually psychic. Um, Do they have to be mutants? And Benny's like, yeah, it comes with the territory. Joe, would you define mutants for us, please? All right, so in this world... to this world. In this world... If you live in a cheap dome mm-hmm. and you're out in the in the Mars, like the light, Mars. <laughs> I, I think the Martian rays. Yeah, the twin suns of Mars. Yeah, yeah. come yeah. through and mutate you. I believe it's the same sun um, we have. And you it, get it is. more specifically. Right, but they don't have a, plus an side, atmosphere to filter mm, it out. Sure. Plus side, you become psychic. Downside, you turn into the hills, have eyes. You get a goofy yeah, eye. there's some yeah. some interesting makeup effects. Uh, you get a goopy eye or a vagina on your forehead. It's well, like- Tony the Mutant has, he's got all that. He's got like, he's got. <laughs> he's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. He's got an overgrown eye. Like one eye is just like, my face ate it. <laughs> it's know? like his head started it's growing his, that way. It's in his face yeah. vagina. His, his head started growing that way and then just went. Beep. Yep. <laughs> His eye turned into a clitoris on his yeah. face. Yeah, I mean, there, he, like his, the back of his head is prying itself apart, and tubers are just growing out of it. And yeah. I totally it's... forgot that that was Dean Norris. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Well, how could you know. tell? I don't like, even know who Dean yeah. Norris is. Uh, it's it's you know. Chuck Norris's brother. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, so Chuck you, Norris's teacher. Do you remember the Dean the cop friend. from Breaking Bad? Oh yeah, yeah. That, uh, mm-hmm. who got addicted to. Crystals or something? Yes. The, the guy, that, like the surprise motherfucker. Oh, that's Dexter. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, not totally not sure. the guy. Not. Definitely different guy. Yeah. <laughs> three eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> Blinky the three eyed fish. So, anyway, um, so now he goes into the, uh, the last resort, which, based on the, 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 um, people here you can choose from. Papa I see why Roach it's got that there. name. Um, you got cutting his life into pieces. Yep. You got mutant Tony. You got um, three tittied woman. You got um, Tinkerbell, not Tinkerbell, Thumbelina. Thumbelina. You, um, that just reminded me we never even introduced ourselves. It doesn't no, matter. Too late now. No. Too late now. Who we are. It's better yeah. that way this episode. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he wants to see plausible Mal- deniability. Yeah. He wants to see Molina, and the bartender's like, how about you uh, look at her? She's got three tits. <laughs> Arnold's kind of like, nope. No. <laughs> nope. Definitely Molina. I'll, I'll look, but and I it, still want Molina. And no, and it's, uh, I agree. No. It's the woman he ordered from Total Recall, which was the woman in his dream where he died in mm-hmm. Mars. And, you know, she just happens to be right there. So he goes upstairs with her. And um, Mutant Tony comes over and is like, I hate you, Hauser. And uh, Hauser's like, don't be so stressful. You'll live longer. Or Quaid. And then you're like, okay, thanks, Mutant Tony. They go upstairs, and she just starts immediately, like, doing the makeouts with her, with him. And he's like, I don't remember you. I don't remember me. I don't know what's going on. I'm married. Um, and she's like, you married someone? How dare you? Get out of here. And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> yes. you know my freaking memories are being rewritten. Yeah, I kind of came here to help in hopes you would tell me what the fuck is happening. Yeah. yeah. Real talk. 
three tits are are they better than two tits? <laughs> you can't really motorboat three. No, yeah, you that's can do it twice. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Oh, well you can. got you gotta pick a you yeah, got two side, cleavages, yeah, so yeah, that's... you got to pick which one you're going for. You just I, alternate. Come on. I think, yeah, I think the, you, I, that's you what I mean. But, like, you commit to one, then you move to the other I one. Gotta, I got to say, I think part of the allure is the cleavage, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's... Well, but now you have well, twice the cleavage. Yeah, but it's... Ah, nah, nah. <laughs> you got two hands, one mouth. Like, you know, all hands on deck. <laughs> uh, I didn't think about that option, but, yeah, that's... I don't know. Hey. I don't know how I feel about that. You know what you call boob sweat, right? Oh, God. What? Humidity. I did know that. Yeah. Right. You know who likes three titties? Benny the Cab. You know what I like? <laughs> What's that? Cake farts. <laughs> Cake farts. <laughs> oh, she's in the corner. She's getting it done. <laughs> she absolutely works at this bar. Yeah. Oh, God. She's got four assholes. <laughs> you know Just what destroy I like? The cake. <laughs> cake farts. <laughs> that know. or or mutant Tony just leans his forehead in and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she, she's got she got one goopy eye just farting out oh. of chocolate cake. Oh. It's my brown goopy eye you gotta look out for. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I was right. gonna eat that. Stop. Oops. Okay, so you now, still can. <laughs> no. <laughs> Quaid's leaving. Uh Benny the cab driver is all over this three titted lady. He's like, I wish I had three hands. She's like, Oh, you're going doing good with two. So yeah. how, okay, so how are we feeling about the, the effects of this three titted woman? Well I you... mean for for nineteen ninety where I'm not sure that they had even graduated what, seen a tit before? Well no, but so, the materials yeah, they hadn't graduated, they hadn't seen the a tit. materials that they had to work with. I'm not even sure they had the the, the silicone uh, and they might have been just using foam latex. Um, what year did the thing come out? 82. 82. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me, let me point out. I don't know. Did the thing have three titties? Mm -hmm. I have In two years, Jurassic Park is coming out. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> let me let me let me introduce Whatever. one thing into this conversation. Do so it. a 10 year old Joe. There was a thing in West Haven called the Forest Theater. Yes, uh, yes. And this movie theater, it only showed one movie at a time, and that movie was like three or four months behind whatever was in theaters. But it only cost like a dollar or two dollars. Mm -hmm. right. The stuff at the concession stand was fair prices, and they didn't care who the fuck they let in there. <laughs> true. So I saw this Very shit true. in the theater. And 10 year old Joe, when he saw Three Tittied Woman, options that were never considered were introduced. Uh -huh. I was like, uh, um,. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, how about now? 56 year old Joe. What? 56 year old <laughs> Joe can barely <laughs> handle two titties. He doesn't need a third. Okay. Like that's, you know, that's a little much. That's what I'm saying. It's for the kids. Yeah. It's for the yeah, kids. Again, it's for the kids. If you're Just, asking how great these effects hold mm -hmm. up, not that great. If you're acting how good they were or asking how good they were for the time, the, don't, don't, good don't, enough. Don't point it at me and do that. <laughs> What? I just look over. Rob's got like his hands by his fly and just noise, creaking noises are coming out. It's just. Is it going up or down? Oh, it's going up, up and down and up oh, and down. And up his and gut down. is defeating his pants. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was thinking. Like, but Like I could tell in his face, like a red alert sirens going off in his brain. Like something's uncomfortable. He's like, we got to let the pressure out. Yeah, my belt was. Digging into my fucking gut. Now he's gonna have to do. He's gonna have the trots in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, this isn't Thanksgiving dinner, all right? What the hell? I know, I've already had the trots. I'm holding them in at this all point. Right. It's it's really just a matter of willpower. So, as he's leaving, um, as as uh, what's his name? Um, Quaid is leaving. Benny comes running after him, and he's like, "Hey, Quaid, you ever fuck a mutant?" <laughs> he's like, "I know these Siamese twins. You won't know if you're coming or going." Ugh. And then it just goes to a different scene. And uh, he's back at his hotel. I totally missed that line. And um, we now see uh, Cohagen has declared martial law on Mars um, due to lack of hustle. And um, he, uh, he gets a knock on his door. And it's the doctor you saw from the recall commercial. And he comes in and he's like, check it out. You're just having a psychotic breakdown. You're in recall labs right now. I'm standing over you. You know, you're just freaking the fuck out and you're you're making all this crap up. 
That's why none of this makes any sense. He's just he just lists the movie's plot points. He's like, right. does that make sense to you? No, it's fine. No, it's and I'm just sitting there like, absurd. No, yeah, this yes. is stupid. This is pretty, yeah, <laughs> he's got some good points here. He's, he sounds pretty fucking stupid, yeah. man. He's like, look, I brought your wife here. How did I do that? Dig uh, the recall. Dude, uh, what is, look at this. It's way hotter than this chick yeah. you picked out over here. I mean, you, yeah, know, you had your choice. This is anyway. a class five chick yeah. right here. Yeah, you got a class <laughs> four over here. You got a class five right here. What, what are we doing? He's like, just take the red pill. Just take the red pill. I'm not even going to offer you the blue pill. Just take no, the red don't pill. Don't take that blue pill, man. No, 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 no. Then you'll wake on, up. You're on TikTok all of a sudden. You don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Um, Quaid's like, what if I just shoot I, you? And he's like, well, then you're fucked. Because now you're. Your opinions of Rob don't reflect on everybody. I'm sorry. Continue. So he's like, yeah, you're fucked if you shoot me. Because now your brain has just denied my existence. You have no way of getting out of this. The walls of reality are going crashing down. Everything's going to suck. And so Arnold's like, oh, take the pill, kill this guy. I do like killing people. Um, he sees the guy that has one bead of sweat coming down. And he's like, you can't be, you can't be uh, fake. You have to be real. Fake people don't sweat. It just guns this guy down. Uh, or whatever <laughs> the interpretation was, was. Yeah, I think it was uh, more that he was stressed out yep. because he was lying to him. Yep. His life or because it's Mars. <laughs> yeah. Or it's because it's Mars and he's a fat guy. <laughs> like <laughs> that's, that's how you know Arnold Schwarzenegger has no fucking clue. Yeah, but they've they? been talking to each other for like ten minutes now, and he he hasn't been sweating. And then right. all of a sudden, it's like, go ahead, swallow the red pill. Let's do a little, mm. let's do a little experiment. Uh oh, how far is Mars from the sun? As opposed to Earth. Oh, well, it's further. Than I was going to bring that up later. Yeah. It's, it's fucking cold there. Yeah. Is it? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's, it's really very cold. cold. It's very cold. Okay. Well, that's like the, the, the I, whole, negative fifty degrees this Celsius. This thing is stupid because everyone here is sweaty all the time. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's because the, the, the it's high stakes, the, the cheap uh, air circulation. Well, I think it's more because uh, Paul Verhoeven was like, "Oh, it's a red planet," or whatever. Well, and it also was filmed in Mexico. Give me yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, give me more rotted mm. fish or whatever mm. the fuck I eat. So, <laughs> like, the movie, I, I, I love the excessiveness of the movie. Because literally, the wall just fucking explodes. And goons fly the in the room. Yeah, like, 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 as if they got sucked man. out the airlock from the next room. Yeah. They're just, they're flying in there. Arnold's kicking everyone. Like, well, um. It's like goofy ninjas. Sharon Stone's punching him again. Well, the, funny, the, the funniest part. He punches his dick a bunch of times. Oh, yeah. Times. The funniest part for me here was that, yeah, that first guy comes flying through the wall, uh -huh. jumps at Arnold, and just gets thrown aside. Yep. And it led me to believe that the other two just kind of threw him as a battering ram <laughs> through the <laughs> yeah. wall. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And though it, it literally looked like it decompressed. And yeah, it just got sucked Whoa. in. And unlike me and my wife, the problem is Arnold never set up a safe word with, with his wife. <laughs> so, um... The same for now. Was, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we do get that again. That's number five in this scene because well, this is while Laurie is just kicking him in the dick repeatedly. Um, or, or maybe that's the, the real problem. The safe word's like titanium, so he's like, The titanium problem! The titanium! Now, don't the turbo man! <laughs> to be fair, what sound would you make if you were being kicked in the dick? No, I'm not criticized. I said I was just going to count them. Okay, you know, that's fair. Just that's keep fair, track. That's fair, that's fair. This is a valid use of the Arnold yeah. noise. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think most of them are called for, but mm -hmm. there's just there's a lot of situations oh. where a man would make that noise. Yeah. Um, so they capture him. You know, they they get him handcuffed. They're taking him to the service elevator. Uh, fucking Richter's down in the lobby. His his number one guy is making sure he doesn't fuck anything up. And um, the elevator comes up, and Mel's in the elevator, and she's got a submachine gun, and she just starts sh killing all these guys. But then Lori's like, I'll kick that gun out of your hand. We'll have us a chick fight. And Lori just beats the shit out of her. Like, it's competitive for, like, a minute, but then Sharon Stone's like, uh-uh. It is yeah. a lame chick fight. I don't know. I liked it. It's all of the all of the fights in this movie, the hand to hand combat is fairly similar, other than the gratuitous punishment of Arnold's balls. Yeah, there but, is a lot of ball yeah. trauma in this. But like so, I feel like their fight between the two ladies is just like one of them flipping the other one over a bunch of times. Well, yeah, there's there's other stuff. Well, th there is a little more, but I feel like it's all appropriate for their like their 
skill level? Yeah, yeah that's fair. Like, Sharon Stone is, like, probably a trained killer. This other lady is, like, a gorilla fighter, so, like... Yeah, she's had to, she's like, struggle classes, for and survive on yeah. Mars. A gorilla fighter, like, throws her feces. And yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, that, that's actually... She had that loaded in the launcher under the gun. Oh, okay. Got a juke yeah. and... <laughs> so... Here's mud in your um, Arnold wakes up, gets the gun... Um, and, uh, again, you know, Lori tries her, uh, seduction spell and he's like, consider this a divorce, shoots her right in the head, right in the forehead. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, she's <sighs> done. Richter is pissed. Um, they get him uncuffed. They she run out the money. other way. Like, why is he so pissed? Cause this dude's been banging his wife. You know, <laughs> he's pissed because of all of that. Yes. <laughs> like. And now, yeah, he pissed about that. Not He's like, anyone around here is going to murder my wife. It's going to be me. <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah, no, it's his wife was taken away from uh-huh. him, forced to work this job where she has to bang this guy he doesn't like from work, mm-hmm. which she and ends now, up enjoying. But she enjoyed. Well, yeah. yeah, well, I'm sure she did. Um, she said maybe. It. Probably to, to the point where that's the, a lot of things. She jumps to that immediate. That's her first card she plays whenever there's a problem. Well, yeah, no. but that's again. Can we fuck she again? Yeah, you she says bang? a lot of things. Yo, you want to back? Anyway, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and now this motherfucker was like, you know what? I'm done playing this little yeah. game and kills her. To like, but again, the most fuck li- that guy. The most likable character is is his number one goon because his goon is like, oh shit, his wife's dead. Yeah. I can't let him, he's going to fuck this up. I got to stop this. But then he gets out there <laughs> and they're like climbing on scaffolding right by the windows. He's like, oh, damn, I can't shoot at him. Mm-hmm. I really want to. And then he hears Richter's just like, <laughs> <"Bruh!"> <laughs> <come to ball." laughs> I'm going to shoot everybody. And so now he's got to like, he's got to wrestle Richter to keep him from, you know, decompressing the whole place. Because the entire dome of Mars is made out of regular ass glass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Um, they go chasing after him, and uh, now they, they meet up with Benny again, right? He, Benny just happens to be driving by right outside sure. as, uh, as they yeah. come out there. And um, Jim McCall, they, have a, they have a chase, and uh, Jim McCall, it, um, Benny talks about he has five kids to feed, which he keeps saying. And then he, he just crashes his freaking taxi right through like a fortune teller. He's like four rooms into this house just... <laughs> Plows through the whole damn thing. Well, this chase, there are there's like gunfire, and yeah, things, so just bystanders like everywhere, his, and blowing out like his back window and shit yep. like that. So yeah. So now um, they here's run into the last resort, and uh, mutant Tony just like here's the secret passage, get in here, and then Richter comes in and he's got like all the police with him, and he's like, all right, where are they? Three titties ladies, like, how about you play with these? Oh, don't worry about them. And he's, he's like, like, I... Those look no. fake as shit. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Like, I was just married to Sharon Stone. I am not rebounding <laughs> with you. Yeah, I don't need <laughs> you. Oh, just, just blasts her right in the back, right out her chest. Also, um, screw these guys, because the, the move here, they're, they're smart. Mm-hmm. They got the, the door open real fast. Yep. They got closed real fast, put a table in front of it. Then the move is, have everybody kind of get in a line like, oh, no, they're coming through, leading towards, like, the back kitchen or whatever, yeah. and just be like, get them out. Yeah, they went that way. Yeah. Right on through. <laughs> yeah. Nope, but instead, we get the most absurd bar fight. Yeah. This escalates so quick. Because now, now that, that, that three titty lady's dead, they're just, everyone's fighting everyone. And fucking Thumbledina, or Thumbelina over here, just takes a shiv and just runs the the one guy, the one goon that's been holding Richter, you yeah. know, under control this whole time. The guy's keeping this movie together. Yeah. Just runs him through. It hasn't even really done anything terrible. Just like has been the voice of reason this whole time. Yeah. He, he tried to shoot out a rat with a Snickers okay. bar. That's, that's about yeah. as bad that's as That's really got. the worst thing he's done. Yeah. And to be he, fair, he didn't even know he was doing that. Then, yeah. Throws, he gets yeah, a, like a bayonet to the junk. Richter realizes yes, this is a heart. Yeah, this is not going my way. Heart? This, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, she stabbed him right. Yeah, I, I thought it was through. I thought he got yeah. stabbed in the junk too. But then, like when you see him like lying back, he's oh, I, yeah. I was Richter, like, <laughs> Richter's like this has clearly gotten out of hand, and he just fucking like Raiden jumps right through the window, <laughs> crashes out there. The police are storming into the sector. They, he gets a call from Cohagen. Cohagen's like, just, just fucking leave. Just. Like, just get out of this movie, yeah, man. Yeah, we'll just shut the just, air off. Yeah. Which he should have just yeah. done to begin with. <laughs> yep. So, eh. like, give up what's his face well, or to get him, you don't breathe. Yeah. That's it. He needed to get him to where he needed him to be. Somebody yeah. would have given him up. So, 
Yeah, now he, um, he pulls all the troops out, seals everyone in, except there's that one slow-ass door that they right, make it under. Sure. Uh, and Benny makes it with them, and they make it over to the resistance. Well, first they make it into the catacombs, and it's like these were the original workers that made the Mars colony, and Cohagen just buried them there. Want to make out? Arnold's like, bleh, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> not that's not an official. <laughs> um, <laughs> to be clear. different level. Yeah. Uh, you call it oh okay yeah so now they're making out and then guys, there's two skeletons just right behind them perfect spot to have some makeouts sure and two guys crawl out of the skeletons and they're like we've been watching the whole time it's, it's time for you to meet Quato go, yeah, go over finished, here so <laughs> I finished so yeah. here we go um, they got the idea for the crystal skull yeah. hands up so now they find the resistance base and um <clears throat> Call it. At this point, Benny revealed, he's like, don't worry, guys, I'm on your side. Check this out. I'm going to take out my robot hand and pull out my weird ass goopy arm. Yeah. It's like, it's got just like the the radius and the ulna and no muscles. It's got like a bug arm. Yeah. I love yeah. this thing. And he's got like three yeah. fingers. No, it looks cool. Sure. It, it tr- kind of praying mantis-ish. Yep. Uh, <laughs> everyone's like, well, that wasn't necessary, but thank you. Yeah, sure. Cool. Also, um, that, that doesn't. Prove your alliance in any way, shape, yeah. or form, but uh, okay. Well, that's when he just put the goopy hand on their mouth and was like, shh. <laughs> so you might as well have said, don't mm. worry, I'm one of the good ones. <laughs> so oh, God. They, go, they go to meet Quato into the, the base, and um, this one guy that was in the bar before, he's like, all right, Quato's on his way, don't worry. Um, just sit down over here. <laughs> he's coming. <laughs> And he's he just coming. Unbuttons his, dude, his shirt. His dude has to like shove like fifteen Taco Bell tacos down his throat. Yeah, the, <laughs> to form Quato. So, I guess we are under the impression that Quato just recedes into his abdomen and he has to pop them yeah, out. Like I, I said, this what happens yeah. when I have Taco Bell. Quato's like, yeah. I want to talk. Pop me out. Yeah. <laughs> So this dude has a Yoda in his tummy. <laughs> the best part, though, is it's this. It's less a Yoda and more a Chucky. This weird, yeah, yeah this weird Chucky more baby chuddy. pops out. And his voice is just like, hello, I'm Quattro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every man must make a choice. And he, he's just like, that's not his voice. He does not sound like <laughs> No, that. he looks I, like a I little. Sounds more like this. Yes. <laughs> also, I think the worst part is, and I don't fully understand how this even functions because if he's re- coming in and out of this guy's uh, belly like this but like what's with the long wispy hairs like just yeah. shave that thing man so come like, on i shave my moo moo who's in charge here is he a mute like is this dude a mutant with two bodies is, does this dude have his own he absorbed mind? his his identical his twin parasitic twin. Yeah. Yeah. that'd be my like, guess who is I, a mutant this is the best guy we have. And they're like, let's just go along with his weird ass, like, tucking Quato in there. I guess. Like, oh, this guy technically has two brains, so he's got to be yeah. the smartest. Well, they figured out that, like, while this, while Quato's giving orders like that, everyone's just looking at him because he's so fucking weird looking. They're <laughs> yeah. like, all right, that's just not working. So like, see, I would argue that the thing is more that he's the one guy who could, like, kind of pass. Because, mm-hmm. like, everybody else is, like, vaginas yeah. on their face or whatever. Yeah. He's like, if I put I a shirt on, you won't know. Yeah. So to catch I have everybody a really tight girdle. Though, yeah. It's just a normal looking dude, but he's got a marmalade baby living on his tummy. Oh, don't worry. He becomes an awful puppet when Quado pops he out. He is yeah. an awful he's head. He's got an awful head. There's, yeah, well, he has an awful head. The puppet has an awful head. Everybody's got, he's got it, it, his eyes whole like chest is else. like a weird they, bonus they piece. liberally coat it in KY jelly just, <laughs> yes, just, yeah, just for good co- measure. Covered in dragon lube <laughs> and just looks like gross. Just those little yeah. those little baby hands reaching out. He's got little <laughs> gross baby arms with little like three fingers. Mm. He's it's got like, ninja turtle hands. It's like, hey, buddy, you have information that we need. It is Take my hand like and I will only... read your thoughts. So for those of you old Open enough, your remember, mind. It is a lube-covered oh, yeah. go- boglin just keeps just repeating taped that. to this guy's stomach. Open your mind. Yeah, Open your and I'm just mind. like, I would not... I, I wouldn't listen to anything this thing had to say. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. let alone touch it. No, but definitely. The moment, <laughs> the moment he takes his hand, though, and he opens his mind, suddenly he remembers there's this crazy alien machine above a glacier... 
And um, he remembers like Cohagen and uh, some scientists talking about how it'll blow up all the Turbo Mans and make the sure. make the planet go critical. <laughs> right. Because yeah, um, that happens. Um, Turbidia. If not critical, yeah. at least full. Yeah. And like one of them's just like, or it'll just make air. And they're like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> In that meme, they throw that guy out the window. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, you know, this is interrupted by drill time because, like, sure. <laughs> just all those drill machines just smash down all the walls and so much gun time. Oh, my God, the gun time. Like, everyone just runs in. Bang, 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 bang. Everyone's getting shot. Everyone's, like, just jumping in there. There's no cover. Like, everyone's just like, here I am. Shoot me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Resistance people. Mars police, it's the, the body count is ridiculous. The only thing that's going to save you now is if you yeah. have bo- you know, protective plot armor. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're dead. Arnold shakes the man part of Quato and he's just like, wake up! <laughs> then um, they, they run away and uh, Benny follows them. And they run to like this airlock to escape. And Benny's like, oh, by the way, I'm evil. <laughs> Shoots the shit out of um, the man part of Quato. Um, it's like, I got four kids to, to feed and, uh, you know, um, Hauser's or, uh, Quaid's Wait. like, um, you said you had four. I mean, you five. had five. Thank you, prick. <laughs> you want, you want to take this part? Cause it's, apparently I don't have it. Nah, I thought you said you had five. He's like, oh, you got me. Yep. I'm not even married. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you for, for catching that brick. Good, good job on the total mm. recall there. That, total. I did totally recall that. All right. So now, um, <laughs> You are flipping more than Sharon Stone. Yeah. It's making me nuts. Richter walks in and just puts this this goopy torso man right out of his mouth. Just blows his fucking head off. Fuck. Just his <laughs> poor his, puppet dad yeah. <laughs> shoots this ugly puppet baby right in the head. Oh, oh it's, it's like not, scanners. It's not fun just to watch this. <laughs> like I was hoping I, it'd be I, more fun. So it's fun enough. I um, mean, how fun do you want? A now, weird Chucky doll coming like out of the torso to get so shot in the head. He to be. Had, like I know he had last words, but like I wanted those little arms to maybe gyrate a little more, twitch a little. Could have been yes, some twitching. Mm. Yeah, it wasn't dramatic enough for it. You want to not animated <laughs> enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted it to give the double deuce on the way out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so turn on the reactor. Also, oh, Jerry. Fuck you. I would have liked if the arm like suddenly went over the face. like. <laughs> so now they're in Cohagen's office and they brought dead Quato along just because sure. Cohagen wants to see it. Well, yeah, it's a prize. He's like, he's check it out. Him in a jar. Check yeah. it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. We made you the perfect mole because those psychics, they could spot my agents every time. So we need somebody to believe that they were they were fighting the good fight. But turns out they weren't. And, you know, Everything you did to get here, uh, you know, was because of us. We, you know, all those improbable things we arranged. Also, here's yourself. Hauser's like, hey, sorry for all that bullshit I put you through. You know, now he's looking at a, a video of himself recorded before. Uh, hope you're he still went into alive, recall. I guess. And he's like, <laughs> uh, uh, you had fun with my body, but I was here first. I'm going to take it back. Also, um, I'm going to be an Indian giver. Yeah, he does. He does say that. (laughs) Um, Then he's like, oh, also, I'm going to program Mel to be my wife. So, you know, I can fuck her all the time, too. Yeah, every day, all day. day. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Corn. And (laughs) you just see it on uh, on Richter's face is like, fuck. So now they're, they go to put them in the machines and you get a as they're dragging Arnold and put him in the machine and. They put him in these shackles that have, like, pegs that you stick in them. You, you could just see when he's put in them. You're like, someone's getting stabbed with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I think more importantly, I'm like, yeah. why don't you lock those in better? Yeah, like, just, just, they should go in and twist. Yeah, and, like, screw them in. <laughs> something, you know. Put a bolt on the other end. I don't know. Um, so now, uh, like, uh, Cohagen reveals... That, yeah, he's like, he's going to get Hauser back. Hauser's going to have Mel, you know, as his new wife. Uh, we're going to go to a party tonight. And Hauser's like Cohagen's bestie, apparently. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's like, I love you so much more than Richter. Yeah. <laughs> and then Richter's like, is he going to remember any of this? Mm. <laughs> Just punches him in the face. And then. Um, and you could tell that hurt, <laughs> hurt Richter. More oh, yeah, way more. Hurt Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, your face uh, is hard. And th- they turn the machines on, and the 
goofiest faces. Like, just uh, the goofiest. And then Arnold... Well, not just, the goofiest. Yeah. Pretty well, the, the, the goofiest, goofiest are about to make, come. The goofiest with, will be coming yeah. very shortly. The goofiest <laughs> without makeup. Like, sure, just, yeah, okay. just saying, Arnold, make faces. Right, These are... <laughs> this is as good as it gets. Arnold fucking just rips one of these harnesses right out the side of the chair and just impales a man through the neck with it. Yep. He's kicking people across the room like it's a Rajnikanth movie. He's <laughs> fucking murdering everyone. Some guy, like, comes at him with a pole. He takes that pole and rams it through another guy's so, head. So, yeah, he... <laughs> like, as improbable well, as it was, that, that fake head was awesome. Like, in one end and out the other the with guy, this thing. The guy's just like, and like blood shooting out both ends. It's like... Fucking awesome. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No like, yeah. I but, got muscles, but... Come on. Uh, so then he... he uh, freeze Molina. Do uh, what? Is that, There's two... Two layers of skull you got to get through skin, no, but I'm saying then brains, they, I, muscles. That's the one. That's the one where I was also like, that is kind of ridiculous. But then I'm like, but is that one particular one intentionally that ridiculous to again make you question how much of this is real? Mm-hmm. Could be. I think, think you're giving it way more. Uh, Maybe so much credit. Mm-hmm. Maybe. So now they they escape. Um, the two worst guards just come walking off the elevator like, do 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 <laughs> Melina hits one in the gut with a fire axe, and Arnold just murders the other. Now they have guns. Um, and it cuts to Kohagen's office, and Richter's like, hey, uh, can I kill him now? And Kohagen's <laughs> like, fine. Also, I'm going to dropkick my goldfish tank. So we can get a very obvious metaphor of the goldfish gasping for air. What a saddest, dick. Saddest death in the movie. Yeah, well... <laughs> While you see everyone in Sector G gasping for air. Poor yeah. Mr. Fishy. And poor, now... Poor Thumbelina. Um, they're, they're heading towards Sector G, but Richter. Arnold takes a detour. He's like, no, we're going to go this way to the reactor. All right, Richter, you can finally kill him. Mm-hmm. You're still not going to be my best friend. Though. Yeah. What reactor? Um, so now they get to the this area... The aliens built. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. boy. <laughs> Wow, we waited all this time to get in your head, and that's what was in there. So now, um, that tunneling machine that you're like, someone's fighting that, that shows up, and Benny just <laughs> Benny just happened to be waiting there. Sure, just, why not? And he starts tunneling into them. The, the guns don't do anything. So Benny, I mean, um, uh, Quaid. Quaid gets his drill, and it's a drill contest. You know, drill vehicle versus uh, handheld drill. But he's drilling into the, the hydraulic fluid line to... That's powering the drills on this thing. No. Which, by the way, if you yeah. punctured that, yep. would like really, really yeah, badly. Yeah. Wound you. It would, yeah, that would not be a good idea. No. <laughs> well, also, I'm pretty sure once he gets to the point where you don't have enough wall left to move back, and the the blades on the drill are like digging into your arms and uh-huh. stuff, that's kind of it. Like, yeah. Because yeah. he just keeps going forward, and yeah, that's the end. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess. From what we see and what I think is they want you to believe is happening are very different things. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm interpreting it as Benny couldn't drill into the wall further, so he couldn't go forward anymore. So that's why he backs up like a dumbass. So then Arnold... Yeah, well, I, the implication is that the, the hydraulic pressure was too Yeah, low, so, so he, he couldn't, couldn't, he couldn't yeah. drill. Yeah. But still, so, like, don't back up. Well, I think yeah. Well, yeah. Get out. <laughs> so if I, like, to play devil's advocate... Yeah. Uh, I think his plan was to back up so he could just simply ram them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, f- them over. I suppose so. Yeah, I fi- um, kind of figured, but like, but no. Yeah. Ar- yeah. Arnold no. runs no. right around to the flank, and Betty's like, "Where are you?" And Arnold just drills through the the passenger door, and he's like, "Screw you!" and just drills into him. And it's, I loved it. Um, <laughs> okay. And also, that's <laughs> number seven. And I'm just like, all right, so Benny, like, what? He so spent all this time with these guys and has no affection for them whatsoever. No, no Benny don't care. This is pure. Okay. He's a bad guy. He's not yeah. even married. He's, his he's wife like, didn't have any. Why do you think Benny would? So now they reach the, the Martian Turbo Man reactor. And he's like, <laughs> it it gets real hot. It melts glacier and it makes oxygen. I'm like, doesn't that just make water vapor? Yeah, it just makes water vapor. Like, what yep. is, yeah, well, is something pulling the hydrogen out? It's too it's too thick to breathe. Yeah, yeah. Or, or theoretically, are you just making an atmosphere that's one part oxygen and two parts hydrogen? Yeah. 
I mean, I know there's other stuff in the Martian um, well, but atmosphere, like it's, it's but a glacier. like something like 97 percent carbon dioxide. Yeah. Well, like what happens when the gra- glacier fully evaporates? Well, the, the like John had mentioned when when this part came up. Mars doesn't have a, enough gravity to hold on to an atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the atmospheric pressure is less than 1% of Earth's. Mm-hmm. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't last. So right. It, it well, would right. all just so leave. It assuming would, yeah. assuming it stayed, too, it would still be, like, negative 50 or whatever. Yeah, it would, like, negative 50 still, degrees Celsius. You would freeze before you decompress. Yeah, it, would, I, it would snow on Mars and everyone yeah. would still die. Yeah. I yeah. cannot be believe <laughs> that any of you would be thinking of this after watching all the rest of this movie, so, think any kind of real world logic would apply. So I'm thinking all this, but I don't give one shit because I know <laughs> yeah. a bunch of dudes are about to get sucked out I, of the airlock. I also would not be the least bit surprised if someone had a better explanation, but then they tried to give Arnold Schwarzenegger mm. the lines to say it, and we're like, "That's not going to work." Yeah, is my able hydrogen and have dioxide but like talking nope. silence or yeah. science when uh you know we get a chance. I mean, to. that's fine. Also, the this the amount of pressure released, the steam explosion, it would be uh pretty crazy. But anyway, oh yeah, like <laughs> there's a lot of problems here, but. Um, I like hologram deception scene. He uses his hologram watch that you forgot he had. And you're like, man, you should have used that like a while ago, <laughs> a while ago, but it does fool all the, uh, the, the Martian police and Arnold and, uh, Mel gun them down. They're trading the, uh, the watch back and forth. And then at one point, why the police don't just shoot him anywhere is like, this is the hologram or you, you think this is the real Quaid? It is. And he shoots them and you're like, sure. Um, well, we, that was clever. Right? We yeah. also discussed the one of the bigger problems is like when he first sends the hologram out and they're all firing at it, but they're all like standing in a circle around. Yeah, him, like they would have yeah. shot themselves. Yeah. yeah, they do the, play the in on that later, yeah. but um, there would have been so many of them dead right there. All right, so now uh, you'll notice in my notes the I, I noticed this start like appearing a pile, at a yeah. much uh, faster rate. <laughs> Uh, Because now he's just fighting Richter on an elevator. Richter's plan is go on elevator. Arnold just gets edited into the elevator as it's going up. Just like flying in sideways like right. And and they're just fighting. And Richter's like punching him in all his wounds. And then like Arnold's just like, dude, I know you're Michael Ironsides, but but I'm I'm fucking Arnold. Yeah. Yeah. 1990 Arnold Schwarzenegger. (laughs) Yeah. Just flips his ass over, punches the shit out of him, throws him off the side. Richter's like grabs onto him and he's like, I'm taking you with me. And Arnold's just like pulls back, holds onto his arms as the elevator goes through a hole in the I rock. I love this. <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to disarm you. Yeah. And just rips his two arms off. And he's like, see you at the party, Richter. Also, there was a <laughs> during this scene. Um, I got him. Yeah. So <laughs> now um, <laughs> he reaches the, the top of the, the elevator and sends it back down so that... Um, uh, Mel can start taking it up and uh, Cohagen attacks. And he's like, why don't I don't just shoot you now? I don't know. You're going to be dead in 30 seconds when this bomb goes off in the room that I'm in with. Cause and you're I'm, my bestie. Yeah. And I'm going to be home in time for cornflakes. Home in time for cornflakes. <laughs> you fucking asshole. He's the governor of Mars. He's an, he's an he adult. He can eat cornflakes whenever he yeah. wants. Cornflakes for but dinner. How, but yes, you can eat it whenever you, but how is that a saying? Like I would just—he's in charge here. Like, that, he was, time time for like, that should have put a dead stop to the movie. Yeah, there should have been. Where Arnold was like, "What?" Yeah, just a good fifteen seconds of them like, "Yeah." Huh? Huh? <laughs> but I see because there's a lot of things to consider here. Like, what time is it there? Well, that's the thing. Yeah. We already they, missed they dinner. Have made no mention of time yeah. or yeah. like what, but. Also, we're on Mars. Maybe that is a saying on Mars. There's, How is it a saying on Mars? <laughs> okay, How is it so, not? So I don't know. When I Google, I get I type in home in time, yeah. and the uh-huh. first prompt that comes up is home in time for corn. Yeah, flight. do you know why? <laughs> because Trump Google's prompt. been listening to us this whole time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's probably true. So... It's not. A, that's I, not a saying. <laughs> also, I like, stop trying to make I, yeah, fetch happen. Even if it is a saying, I doubt it was a saying prior to this movie. No. All right. But so Mel come, has been going up the elevator. She's actually been hanging on oh. to the cable for the 
the other side or Sorry, just a, a quick thing though to kind of add to my theory of this could be a mars saying uh a, a, a fun little uh background note that i read about that i j- didn't catch till i watched the movie this time when they're on earth everything is coke when they're on mars everything is pepsi well well then he should have said that's home in time they, for pepsi but no maybe that's the thing maybe on earth you say home in time for dinner on mars you say home in time for cornflakes that's all you get on Mars. That's that's maybe, all. Co- that's, maybe maybe that's all cohagen That's the allowed. rations. Yeah, yeah there's just cornflakes. Maybe to spend time so maybe hard to not just flip the table. Maybe cohagen decided to take the uh, take that whole thing about uh, preventing masturbation in the next level. So yeah, cornflakes <laughs> yeah. and Pepsi is all well, you why get. Why does he have three titted women? He doesn't. He keeps, the mutants he downstairs do. Yeah, he, yeah he made those. He keeps them in the sector of like, I'm, these are the first people I'm purging. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So anyway. I'm going to eat my own shit for health. Cohagen, corn yeah. flaken. Mel pops up. Um, you know, her name's Murphy now because she shoots Cohagen a bunch of times. He goes to set <laughs> off his bomb. Um Arnold's solution is I'll just throw it down this tunnel, not over the edge to the fucking glacier, just throw it down wherever this tunnel is. Oh, it's the window outside. Shit, I didn't think about it. And just, over the edge, we're doing way better. Yeah, just like now it's decompressing. Yep. They're all lying sideways, like being sucked out. Um, and this is a, a good time for... Oh, um, my God. And... What was that, number eight? I mean, really that's the, number nine. Oh, the nine. next five minutes is yeah. just... <laughs> well, I, Man, I counted it again and, when we, we saw a scene of something else happening and then it came back. I was like, all right, that's a new... Blah. Or when he, when he transitioned to a new setting. So anyway, so now they're, they're fucking... They're all hanging on to this thing. Um, you know, Coagan's like, you'll kill us all. Don't activate it. And he just like, he's like, I know you're shot and all, but fuck you. And just throws him out. And that's the thing. So yeah. we're done with you. So Coagan is, and I guess it's up to your interpretation, mm-hmm. whether you believe him or not. But he is claiming that he thinks starting this yep. thing. He believes it will kill everybody. Well, I, he says he believes it will kill everyone. So then you have to wonder, is he telling the truth? And if well, he no. is, maybe he's legitimately trying to save everybody. Think, but mm-hmm. at the same time, he did cut off air for the mm-hmm. news. Yeah, to, yeah. to use like a like more modern comparison, I think he's just trumping it where he's like, he's just decided that's the reality. Okay. And he's mm-hmm. like, now he can't, like he's lied to himself enough that like, that's it. Yeah. Like he can't accept that it's not that. I will add one evil step further, uh, which is like, that has to be the truth because yeah. the other option is everyone gets free air and I'm out of a job. Yeah. Is that what so, we call Trump? In it now? Yeah. No, I, so what is Biden it when he legitimately doesn't know what reality yeah. is? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, Biden, Biden knows like Biden's in reality. He just has trouble like, you know, getting, expressing himself sure. and operating in the terms of it. Trump just, whenever he encounters an obstacle, just makes up a new reality and, yep. and proceeds his, forward. His number one isn't there to change his poopy pants. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, that's our, God, that's our election right state, now. aren't we? Yeah. You, you know what's scary, too? I, I looked at third-party candidates. All three of the major ones. Guys, we ones. are not a politics podcast, by just, the way. Just by all three of the major ones dissolve NATO. I, just, yeah. just great. right on the platform. It's, it's just fine. dissolve it's, NATO. It's, fine. it's good. It's all good. That's yeah. It's all good. It's all good. So anyway, um, that's why everyone write in Terry Crews. Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. Sure. The one, Let's just make idiocracy real. Yeah. I want to go. It's it's already I, real. I hate to break it to you. It's, it's already, already real. real. I'll, I'll, at least give us President Camacho if the whole fucking thing's gonna come <laughs> crashing down. Also, you know what? Two things I see coming from that. Terry Crews, at least he's a decent guy. I'll figure something out. But uh, if if not, he'll probably turn it down, in which case we'll have to figure something else out and we'll at least buy some time. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So, I want to go to Mars. So back at Mars. So look forward to Neil deGrasse Tyson's three-hour video on uh, debunking this the end of this movie. So back on Mars, Cohagen. He just becomes a progressively worse and worse puppet, yeah. and it just gets grosser and grosser. <laughs> yeah. And when you think you're, you're like, all right, movie, I get, I get. And they're like, no, we got a, we made a worse oh, puppet. We, we made he, a bunch of puppets, guys. He literally you watch is slowly <laughs> transitioning into a live action version of that stress doll when oh, you yeah. squeeze yeah. in its eyes, and <laughs> he goes from being a pseudo Carradine. Mm. 
to a Gary Busey. Yeah. To a full <laughs> Carradine, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. John, you walked. You set that right up. Just. I he was spanking it when he was out there. Yeah. So might as well. I mean, what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, what we'll else? See I mean, it's going to be huge. Like, well, oh, you, know, you bet. The mountain wasn't the only thing they were up that day. Oh. So, oh. so oh. <laughs> he is basically by the end of this, he's Norris's severed head from the thing. If you rip the spider legs out of it, oh yeah. <laughs> so now um, Quaid activates the uh, you know the machine. It starts glowing green. The, the the rods on the pistons are heating up, you know, they're they're descending into the glacier. But that sucks for for these two because they both get sucked out, yeah. and now they're starting to go through the the fucked up puppet transformation. Everyone's like, Aah! and um, you know, they're uh, this <laughs> quick this, side note. Just I felt so bad for this poor woman because she's out there. Like we already got. Uh, <laughs> Carradine, whatever the fuck it's called. Cohagen. Cohagen, thank you. It's, you know, he's already, his face is exploding, whatever. And then you got her and Arnold, and she's trying to give her best, like, oh, I'm suffering, ah, noises. Yeah. But she's against Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> she's just drowned out. But, yeah. But, it's, it's not even just, it's drowned out would have been better, but, like, I could hear her, and it was just, mm. like, a just the weakest, like, ah, uh, in comparison. Like, it's just. It's like, so, oh, you mean well, but that's no, no, so sweetie. Air's just bursting out of the ground. Um, and like, even though it's 1990, the, mount, it, the mountain's like, it's close enough to the 80s. I'm going to fucking explode. Mount St. Helen, this shit. Yeah. Um, they're fucked in a variety of ways, but whatever. Um, now, uh, this the shockwave from the mountain exploding breaks all the windows like Sector G just got the quickening in Highlander. <laughs> like every window's destroyed. Um, but don't worry, there's an atmosphere now, mm-hmm. which instantly, Inst- yeah. And the other thing I don't get is the, uh, the, whatever that section with, with the mutants and the, the, uh, the last resort and so on, which we were told like two hours ago had an hour left of air yeah. to live. They like the earth before the windows get shattered, the earth rumbles and everybody yeah. just gets up like what we're fine now. What? How, yeah. How dark. It's all cool. How dark would it have been? if the windows didn't break and they're in there and they're like banging on the window. Oh, 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 everyone's just running brutal. around outside. Like, la, la, la. Yeah. It's raining. I can breathe. <laughs> it's like, fantastic. <laughs> A metaphor for capitalism. So when the soothing piano music Sorry, started sorry. and um, Arnold and uh, well, Doug and uh, Mel start getting up and walking up the mountain, uh, just Lawrence Fishburne in my head was like, you think that's air you're breathing? <laughs> <laughs> the little Turns part out noise. the planet is Unicron and it's his yeah. asshole. Yeah, yeah, that was just the planet's asshole just went <laughs> off. Um, and then, you know, they're like, uh, he's like, the thing is, I don't know if this is real or not. And she's like, well, you better kiss me before you wake up. And we, the movie ends on ambiguous makeouts. Yep. Yeah. It's screen goes white. Total recall. Total, total recall. That's the movie. Total recall. In French. Yes, that is the French translation of the movie. Mm-hmm. Totales recall. No, that's Spanish. Recall. Well, it, it, it gets silent. Oh, okay. Tony on rotten mutant titties. What? <laughs> yeah, on three, three rotten titties. What? What does uh, Total Recall have going for it? Okay, uh, on on that, uh, critics gave this a score of eighty-two percent. Audience gave this a score of seventy-nine percent. Huh. That's their thoughts and opinions. What about you and uh, yours, uh, Rob? We you still oh, able to talk? Um, lordy, uh, I gotta be honest. I- I've never enjoyed this film. Um. I think it's fucking dumb. Um, it makes no sense. Uh, Paul Verhoeven movies with me are very hit or miss in general. Uh, and this one is a miss. That said. Showgirl's big hit, though. It's super big hit. Mm. It's super big Everybody hit. got AIDS and shit. Yeah, everybody got AIDS and shit. <laughs> um, that said, I, I recommend you watch it at least once um, just to see what fuck is going on um you still won't know at the end you still won't know yeah you still won't know 
uh, it's but it's goofy enough to for at least one watch. But I didn't. I I don't enjoy it. I think it's like I understand it's silly, but like it's silly to the point for me where I'm just like, God, I could be watching something better. Uh, Art, are you okay? You know, have a, a quick diary. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's, that's really it. That's that's all I think. That's all I got. That's all what I would got. you recommend instead? You said it could be one. Well, I did recommend. You, it. Yeah, he recommends you at least. <laughs> I once. don't. I don't personally yeah. like it, but no, I recommend I, it. He had said, you know, you could be watching something. Yeah, better, watch Alien. So. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rick, um, this movie doesn't make any sense, um, but I still enjoyed watching it. Um, I don't really have much to say because I don't really even know why I enjoy it. Um, it's it's fun to watch, um, so I recommend it. Yeah, that's it. Short and sweet. Okay, John. Yeah, I recommend it. I think I'd probably give it a, a solid B, even though the effects are a little bit goofy in hindsight. Um, the, the three titties don't hold up as well as uh, <laughs> a trifecta of bees. Yeah, the mm -hmm. the. The, the nostalgia goggles um uh, it's still it is just crazy action i don't the, the science of it doesn't bother me that much just because the it's so ridiculous that it's like it's one of the ones i can turn my brain off mm -hmm. and just enjoy the roller coaster ride of of insanity that that's going on um so yeah i definitely do recommend it okay joe Oh, definitely. Um, this is like <laughs> B plus A minus for me. Uh, I fucking love this movie. Um, like there's just something about Paul Vernhoven ultra violence that I'll always show up for. Like by Starship Troopers, I was kind of, eh. but like, like this isn't as good as Robocop, but it's up there. Like I had no problems with all the stupid stuff in this movie because like it could very well just be in this guy's mind. Um, but even if it, even if you didn't have the, the recall aspect of it, this is what I'm always talking about with a movie doing enough awesome things that you don't care about the stupid things. Yeah. Yep. And, um, like I love the crazy effects. I love the, the mutants, uh, the, just the, the sheer amount of like, you know, gun time and the blood squibs flying everywhere. Uh, it's dumb, but it's, it's a good kind of dumb for me. Um, and these are the kind of movies I like. I liked the the sci-fi elements they explored of like the scene with the doctor you know where he's like you're you're just having a psychotic episode you know and you, you, you like i'm talking to you in the the lab you don't know if i am or you're not he could very very well have been and you know it and i like that it doesn't tell you because it's just it could go either way and it doesn't matter it's yeah. still it's a fun time getting there um Arnold is like the worst person for this role, but that's that makes it great. <laughs> just, just, and then like Sharon Stone murdering his dick, it just it never gets old for me. Like it's just there's something about how unapologetic this movie is mm. about its craziness that I love. Um, that being said, you know I wouldn't put it up there against like RoboCop, and it wouldn't be you know in my my top movies, but it's it's in the A tier. Like A minus B plus. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'll save a lot of time by just saying most of what Joe said goes for me as well. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, it is ridiculous, goofy fun, but it's in, like it's exactly what it wants to be, and it's it's all that I need it to be. So, yeah, I recommend it. Yeah, that's a unanimous recommendation. Yeah, so uh, ultimately we recommend Total Recall. You picked a good movie, Patrick. So do we say Robocop is for Hoven the best? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I mean, Starship Troopers, I would almost be willing to try to give that a, a rewatch. But I think it's worth it. Yeah. Um, like, it's it's clearly better than Total Recall. And then, like, Showgirls. Ugh, and then... <laughs> I'm trying to think what there's there's other Verhoeven movies, but Basic yeah. Instinct, right? Basic Instinct, which I I've never actually seen. I've not seen it either. Yeah. I, I, mean, I saw I the beaver be shot, but like that was in loaded weapon too. Well there you go. There you go. Um so next up is just rush hour, right guys? Yeah. Yep. yep. Back to the grind. So uh with that we wanna thank everybody for listening. Uh, big ups. To Patrick for his marriage. 
Congratulations. Yes. Hope, congratulations. Hope that shit works out, and you don't end up uh, accidentally cucking another man and <laughs> shooting her in the head, shooting her in the head, and, and having punch her kick, the dick. kick you in the dick a bunch of times. A whole times. bunch of times. <laughs> I've been there. It's not great. Um, <coughs> unless you're into that. He's going to be there after we all leave. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> if I'm lucky. I just got to remove the safe word, which I have carved into my wrist. Uh, Bad place for that. Oh, no. It's oh, Turbo place, Man. <laughs> yeah, Turbo Man is the safe word. Uh, but thank you so much for listening, and we will see you all next time. Adios. Hasta la vista. Hello. Good night, everybody. Oh, there were, there were ten. Ten total. Oh, oh yeah. There's a what? So, I forget. What's that thing that's like a frog, but is not quite a frog? Like a Good frog. night, everybody. <laughs> He's looking for the word toad. Ignore <laughs> him. Close this down. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. To- total recall. <laughs>
That's not what I saw. <laughs> well, I'm going to go home and see it. I, for one, want to commission a uh, one-to-one scale Godzilla dildo. They one-to-one. A Godzilla? Godzilla. And I want um, helicopters so. to deliver it. They'd have to. By, by dropping it onto the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be like what, roughly the size of like a city bus. Bum, bum, I, bum. I don't know. Yeah. Godzilla might have a micro penis. I don't know. If you walk Godzilla's into size well is water, not it'll, consistent. It'll, it'll be it's radioactive. True. I thought too, Godzilla if you was a it woman. In my well water. Hmm? I thought Godzilla was a woman. What? That was. Since they gave him the birth. Con- that was test? Gino. Or the the pregnancy that was, test. That was Zilla. That was Zilla. Zilla is the. Well, that's what <laughs> the right. Japanese folks call him. Oh, I th- I thought it was G I N O. I think. Well, that's that's G I N O. It, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. What the hell? What just happened? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Is it playing our theme?